ないのに突如出現した不吉な火柱打倒外ザを心に秘めて邪悪な闇の世界へ君は立ち向かうのであったエレベーターや空中都市などなど仕掛けが盛りだくさんでワクワクドキドキフォーチュネットリーフォーニンテンドーのラージェスビデオゲームシステムワールドワイドライトナウイズソニープレイステーションアンフォーチュネットリーフォーニンテンドーのラージェスビデオゲームシステムワールドワイドライトナウイズソニ
Since it's Christmas, our gift to you is no commercials. Nada. Zip. Zero. Except maybe at the end. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Yeah. Put that face up on the screen again. Okay. Yeah. What, what? Who, who was that woman? Was that Paul Newman's wife? She looks familiar to me, but I can't place her. Well, do you think that violates FCC regulations? What? what? You know, using a PSA not as a PSA? I don't know. Well, anyway, ladies, prepare yourselves for the next segment. This show is rated TV 14, so any of you who can be stereotyped as a Republican and have young children in the room, prepare to take action. Here's our review for Tomb Raider 2. It's no big surprise that IDOS is moving up the video game food chain considering last year's mega hit Tomb Raider. The sequel uses the same formula to great success, with minor control changes for sidestepping and of course all new worlds and vehicles. The game starts off with a peek at ancient China. A dragon attacks the Great Wall and a soldier notices a dagger embedded in his chest. Oddly, removing the dagger results in the dragon's death. Weird. You play Laura Croft, complete with front-loaded anvils, searching for the dagger centuries later. Your path to the dagger will take you just about everywhere, and that snow speeder kicks a major you-know-what. Tomb Raider has slightly more action than exploration this time around, but you may not notice the difference. This is good, because that way everybody's happy. Obviously, we're giving Tomb Raider 2 a good review. We fully expected to do so. We knew the game would be great, and it is, and we've only just scratched the surface. In answer to Lara's giant earrings, however, we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. Imagine the drama of a vulnerable Lara Croft still persisting in her worldly adventures despite her illness. It needs fleshing out, no pun intended, but we guarantee the gaming world would be shocked, stunned, and moved at the effort to make Lara's character more meaningful. We love Lara, but it's about time the industry had a big shock for a change. It's no shock that Tomb Raider 2 is excellent. Everyone should buy it. Period. The end. Star Trek X-Men is being released to celebrate Marvel's 35th anniversary, and Star Trek's 30th anniversary. It's a good present for fans of all ages. Ariel's hair under sea style. Long, long, longest, flowing free. She's beautiful hair, Ariel. She picks the flowers for her hair. Red hair, mermaid. Under sea braid. She has so much hair. Style's always changing. She sparkles. Beautiful hair, Ariel. Now you can be part of the ソウルセパレートリーエリアルディズニーズデリトルマーメイドサンカクチョコパイどっち食べようお嬢さんクッキーアンドクリーム試してよ待てよ黒が好きだって言えよ選べない食べ比べちゃう<笑>
Meet Doreen Rivera. Doreen is senior instructor in the Department of Biological Sciences at the UCLA Extension Division and director of the sports fitness therapy programs at the International Sports Medicine Institute in Los Angeles. For years now, Doreen has been developing, refining, and teaching her unique stretching program to people of all ages. Athletes, pregnant women, sedentary people, even small children and babies benefit from Doreen's teachings. It all comes back to doom. What a day, everybody. What a day. Yes. Obligatory rip. Rip Rooney. The last time. What the fuck was that? Oh. Sorry, delivery dude just like dropped a stack of boxes on the porch, and that's a hell of a sound to just hear. Oh. Last time I said goodbye to Rooster Teeth, I played a shitload of Doom Eternal, so it feels right to circle back. Also, I never played the, uh... What? Why are you asking me this? Mmm, I don't like that it's having me go through initial setup again. Did it not save? There's no way it didn't save. A cozy one. A cozy 105. Mmm. Mmm. It says I'm level one! What happens? What do I do? Ugh. Did it not? How did it not save? Eh! Well, I. <laughs> Shadow card. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, what the heck, man? Hold on. People had the same issue on Steam. There's a common fix they've seen multiple times, but it's through Steam file saves. Maybe I just... P p uh. Okay, they, they're sharing the location of the folder. But it's gonna be empty for me. Hmm. Sorry, I was I was about to say something extremely poetic about cycles and returning back and reflecting on the past and all that shit. But my game is gone! I mean whatever, it just means I get to play more Doom Eternal, but yeah. I guess RT claimed that. I mean they what? They wanted to browbeat me into signing an agreement where they got 30% of all my stream revenue. So I guess they get to own part of the Doom Eternal gameplay, sure. Sorry, I'm not gonna talk shit about Rooster Teeth this entire stream. I promise it won't. It certainly won't slip out when I'm frustrated at Doom for deleting my save. <sighs> but okay, so you know, here's the thing though. I still have the achievements. They can't take those from me! Hmm. Let me turn off the, let me turn off the, um, let me turn off all the fucking tutorial messages. Off. That's okay. In-game tips off. All right. <laughs> no, they can't reset my GTA 5 level. Holy shit. Okay, here's a bit of shit talking I can do. I never got level boosted in GTA. Everyone else at Funhouse did. They specifically excluded me. Just a tiny, like that's a tiny thing. But yeah, there were, I, I don't know when it happened, but they, so specifically when we went to the UK, I had to stay in the hotel room to export a podcast while they all went out to a dinner with Rockstar. So they cultivated relationships with them and I'm- Against all the evil that hell can conjure. I don't like that. The all fuck? The wickedness that Ugh. The fuck? Unable to access title storage. Maybe this is a reboot. Maybe this is a reboot situation again. Why does this keep happening? God damn. 
Hmm. Yeah. One million GT videos. Now, okay. The, the trade-off was that, uh, I did get to test GTA maps on the clock sometimes. So that was like, that was the grift. That was the funnest part of the job. <laughs> it's playing GTA online. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I have to, uh, I got to reboot and presumably then it'll find my save. Who knows? I'll be right back. Duly immobilized. Now, Doreen devotes her full attention to teaching the program that speeded her remarkable recovery. And now, Doreen Rivera. Hello. Did you know that nine out of ten of us will experience some type of neck or lower back problem? Most of these problems could be avoided with my stretch program. Don't believe me? Six years ago, after my accident, I couldn't lift my head off my pillow. And now... I have regained my strength and my flexibility. This stretch program strengthens the muscle groups that control posture and increase flexibility. Most programs concentrate on contracting the muscles. We concentrate on building the elastic strength to combine with the contracted strength to create a balanced muscle. We improve our posture. <laughs> あの光はなんだ。今、君の手に。ブルーのはレーザーガン。うん、let's see what's happening. Signing in, checking for updates, launching game. Maybe I need to run the Xbox app to update a like Microsoft services thing. Sometimes that happens. At least it threw the error as soon as the game started and didn't let me like play for hours again. <laughs> we can only hope. Yeah, those saves weren't eternal, that's for sure. But Doom is still here. I mean, I still have the Steam version of the game. It's not like... It's not like my years of, of dooming... Uh-oh. Okay, so... Uh, maybe it'll... Dude, this sucks. Fuck you. <sighs> Am I out of space? No. What if I do that? Is it gonna? Uh, is it gonna hit me with a cannot cannot use storage again? I wonder. What a frustrating. Um, mm, unable to use your selected storage device. Heck, man. Uh, okay, let's try launching this little girl and then this little girl. Maybe like Microsoft Game Services as a process stopped, and so it's not syncing in the save file. Usually, launching these two bastards finds something if there's something worth updating. Maybe if I launch it from Game Pass. Yeah, it's just a it's just a new Windows version. Hello, Pl oh, Plizzy, hey, it has been a long time. How you doing? Gonna play Ghost of Tsushima on PC? Fuck yes, I am. That game rules. Ghost of Tsushima is one of those games that like I'm okay playing the buying it and playing like the first ten hours of and walking away again or whatever. All right, well let's try it. Play. Thank you, Volkitten. I am on Windows 11, yeah. Got that centered start menu, rounded windows. 
I, Shay Nasty, I think I watched the Verge B PC building comp a while ago. It was like a media share, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, it's a pretty maddening video. It's almost like, it's almost like it's made intentionally to troll people. I could play Doom 64. I mean, I, I do have a million other boomer shooters to play, but I wanted to play this one. I wanted to get into my feelings and my memories. <sighs> Man, what the heck? It wasn't doing this before. Gotta wait through all these shitty menus, dude. What do I do? <laughs> what could cause this? Hmm. The only... The only tea I've spilled so far is that... Uh, the other dudes in Funhouse had their accounts boosted by Rockstar. And they intentionally excluded me. Fuck you. Alright. Um, the evil that hell can conjure. What does that mean? All the wickedness that mankind... I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try my best. To not... not shoot my mouth off. Cause it doesn't... it doesn't do anything. I have my... I have my frustrations and my bitterness, but... What's done is done. The only thing that's... that's difficult for me to swallow is, uh... Is seeing people lionize folks that I know were just not good. But whatever. It's not for me to put that out there. It's not for me to try to change people's minds. Life goes on. And it's certainly not the first time that people uh, thought the world of somebody who was likable on camera. And ended up empowering a lot of people to do a lot of terrible things. So let's see. Mm. Maybe. Okay. Nuclear option. We will send unto them. Only you. I want to rip and tear so bad. So bad right now. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the game we play. Error! Okay, we're getting somewhere. See error details. Something unexpected happened. Something, yeah, something really... <laughs> Something bad is going on. Nothing can update. All right, that makes sense. <sighs> yeah, we're PC gaming now. Whoa, mama. Uh, this happened before, but it was because... Uh, it was because there was like an update. And launching the Xbox app pushed the update. <sighs> Something unexpected happened. Well, there's an error code. <laughs> Something happened on our end. Maybe the is the Xbox store fucking up? Is anyone else having trouble downloading from Xbox? Fuck. Can I do this? What? There. Just so I can Google it. Zero. Zero X. Eight. Zero zero. Seven three. D19. <clears throat> Apps and features. Select the app you want to fix. Select the advanced options. Repair if it's available. What the fuck? This probably isn't in this version of Windows, is it? Apps. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe it's this now. That's the fun thing when they move shit around or, or like relabel it. Advanced options. Repair. Ding. <laughs> oh, I got repaired though. Uh. Maybe I gotta repair the store? Also, it was still running. How can it do shit if it's... I guess it just restarts the services? Let me 
me put on some music. Well, this is now officially a... Uh... Oh, that's why. I have the audacity to hit the Windows key. Yes, Bob, Papa Blue. I saw that they buffed the 120 and 380 millimeter or meter barrages. That's awesome. That that was necessary. Those were those were unusable. Uh, so I'm glad that they did that. Good, good shit. Hmm. <laughs> Can't play the game you paid for. Yep. So okay. What I can do is try to reset the app, which will make me like log back in. But there's like, I feel like there's an Xbox game services bullshit that's not running, but it's supposed to, whatever. How about this? Let's, let's do this. This is nice music, though. Yeah. Hopefully those barrages actually hit something. What the f Did it lock my PC? I think I just... No? No? My mouse still moves. What the heck is going on? Is it resetting my network? Eh? What happened? Okay. That was weird. Yeah, I got backtraced by Xbox. Okay, Xbox is not installed anymore. I should probably reset. Mmm! Mmm! -mm. <laughs> Maybe one more reboot. I don't understand anything that's happening. Me either, dude. I can't get anything from, from Xbox right now. Think something happened on their end? Maybe? Like, does... I don't know if anybody else is having specific problems right now. If anyone else has a PC, could you try, like, launching an Xbox game and seeing if it launches normally? It looks... It, seems, it feels like there's some kind of authentication shit that's not working. Here, let me sign in and out of the store. I've had this happen before, but right now my PC Game Pass is working. Yeah. I've definitely had Xbox be... It tries to hide shit, so when things break, it's hidden. Yeah, let me sign in and out here. It's acting like it's not authenticating me or something. Like some, some authentication shit's failing in there. Okay, I signed in and out. Nope. You can, you can search that. Just tried running my PC in safe mode, restarted, then switched back and restarted again, and then I can install just fine. Safe mode. I haven't booted into safe mode in forever. Oh, Chaos is not working for you too? Hmm. Sea of Stars is working. So I can, what's weird is I can search the store. Can I install this? What? That installs? An extension for Game Bar. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it needs to install live. It's good that it's finding that. I feel like Game Bar might be the thing that's fucking up. Oh, already got errors. Ready to play. Are you, though? God, there's so many pop-ups. Shut up. Hmm. Worked after I restarted PC. Yeah, I tried to restart. Um, but I can, I can try again. Couldn't hurt, right? Is there a way to forcibly reset game bar?
There is scheduled maintenance? Yeah. Maybe this is part of it then. Hmm. I probably should have checked the status page first. Oh, hmm. Oh, it's just Call of Duty. <laughs> for Call of Duty for Xbox, everything else should be working. Yeah, yeah Rooster Teeth owns, full, owns Funhouse completely. We started it as Rooster Teeth employees. It's always been completely their brand and property. They own every part of it. As far as I know. That was the case when I worked there. But that was a long time ago at this point. Important to remember. Okay, you know what? One more reboot. And if anything, maybe it'll just like... Give Xbox servers time to turn on. Sorry about this, folks. I'll be right back. Good news, it's downloading. Bad news, Doom Eternal's huge. So, let's play something else for now. Maybe maybe a run or two of Balatro. I haven't played that in a minute. Uh, I guess hell divers could dive. Could go for a dive or two. Quick dive. Mmm. Mm, okay. This is more my mood right now. Play. Yeah, one hand for sure. Sheesh. Play. Just a teeny dive. One cheeky dive. I need 300. Uh, Fleet of Ad Fleet Admiral two of two. Thanks for the sub. I all tapped to cast some stream. My Bellatro because uh, Doom Eternal's redownloading and it's a it's a chonker. It's a fat boy, that's for sure. Hmm, I almost have a full house. Do three of a kind or. S I 
I don't know what to do. Which cards do I discard? Or do I just take the three of a kind? Yep, Spectra. That's the that's unfortunately that that always ends up being the case. It's so it's so goddamn frustrating. The bad decisions of a few who end up walking away with a lot of money end up impacting people that just want to like work and live and I don't know. The market the market working as intended, I guess. Why is this game so popular? Is it just poker? No. Poker is like the base mechanic of this game, but you essentially get a lot of modifiers where, even though poker is the mechanic, you get a ton of modifiers that mean that you can use the rules of poker in different strategic ways. So you always have to hit a certain chip count, but you get these joker cards that modify the value of, of different poker hands, or even the, mo like the specific multipliers attached to particular cards. So then instead of like trying to make the hottest poker hand you always can, Sometimes you specifically, through a run, target a build where two pairs are always your hot shit. And you can really pull a lot of money out of it. Or chips, whatever. Seth, yo, thank you for the sub. And yes, rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> this seems good. Just like 1.5 across the board for the whole, yeah. For each joker, I'll take it. Kind of like Poker 2? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If Poker was an NES game, this is the this is like the SNES version or the PS1 version. It just doesn't have any FMV, but it'd be, it'd be pretty cool if it did. And I need a five. See if I can get a full house. Ugh! And then also, so it, the discard rules mean that it's still poker logic, but it's not like rounds of, it's not like hands of poker. You spend your discards to try to get the best hand you can in one shot or two shot or whatever, like you specifically target something. Except I've used all my discards now. So I have to try to make hands out of whatever I get. And I have four hands to get Sheesh, like 200 more chips? Oh, wizard, you're a union organizer? That's fucking awesome. Also, it's really good to see you again. I feel like we bounced off each other for like 10 years now. One thing you can really do to avoid fates like RT, shitty people ruining the livelihoods of good people, you should organize your workplace. I agree. Let me propose to you a theoretical situation, though. Where everybody at a company refuses to acknowledge that they're being mistreated. And when you bring it up, you're treated as an unwelcome insurgent. <laughs> what do you do in that theoretical situation? That is very common. Mm-hmm. That's a losing battle. Mm-hmm. Hey, poop dog. That's how it went for me and others who tried it in my workplace. Yeah, it's like, it's it's such an easy social media band-aid to say unionize, but there's layers of human complication to all that. <laughs> Dr drink and quit after being whittled down a bit more, in theory. Of course, purely in theory. Yeah, if it sucks, hit the bricks. That's where I'm at in my job. Mm. It's such a, it's the shittiest place to be. And it sucks because it's like, you don't make a decision to be there. You were just like, you're just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You just wake up one day and suddenly ev the world is antagonistic to you. And it saps the life from you. I fucked myself. I used all my, I used all my discards and now I can't make a, can't make the, the big blind. Well, I got three hands to go.
Oh, this doesn't count as a Joker itself. I thought it would. Mm, I think I can just barely make it though. See, limping across the finish line here. If anyone wants to talk union, you can DM me. Not sure how much I can help in specific circumstances, but it can give broader advice. That That is super valuable. Uh, I wish I had had the exact, uh, the exact kindness you're offering now, years ago. Because yeah, that's a really sticky situation. Blind is like to create two common jokers. Yeah, I'll take that right now, because it's just gonna, the next, the next one I get, I'll get two more jokers and then this this guy will finally start kicking in. Genuinely, it's so rough actively looking into filing a discrimination suit just because there are laws or regulations doesn't necessarily mean people will stop that from happening. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, life is real messy. People, I guess I thought this way, so I can't, I really can't hold it against anyone, but there's this idea that like, that laws, that like people follow laws? <laughs> I don't know. If you surround yourself with enough people that are cool with it, you effectively make a, a little bubble. Switch the game on Twitch? Uh. Mm. You're right, I ought to. People like, when people talk about morals on the internet, they so rarely acknowledge the fact that there are just truly self-interested and shitty people out there. You've got to make a system that allows them to live their life too, <laughs> but uh, it has to acknowledge that that shit happens. All right, 600, chips select. Yeah, so now you start getting random debuffs and stuff. So this is also how they can kind of ensure that you can't just narrow down exactly on one thing and win. You have to also diversify. So do I go for the fl do I go for the straight? If I get a five or a ten, it's nice to have it on both sides. It kind of increases my odds. But do, do I want to keep the pair? See, these are the interesting decisions. Do I go all in on like? I mean, a pair is nothing. A straight, a st it doubles my odds of getting it if I. Double the cards. Most laws don't have the penalties to be effective. People don't follow the laws. National labor relations, civil rights, yada. Because often the penalty for the employer is just paying back pay. Yeah, yeah, maybe like a tiny punitive thing. But like, now that I've run my own business for a while, I get it. The way money works, you want all the money now. Money 10 years from now is not worth as much. So if you can break the law and not spend money now, and you, you, if you're lucky, you'll get sued for it 10 years down the road and pay a tenth of what you would have paid the whole time. Like, yeah. Yeah, like the G4 thing. Or rather, Malcolm, sorry, you were bringing up something different, but Bruce sued uh, over over those over those bad working situations at G4. And yeah, it was a, it was a very humbling, or he, he describes it very practically. He's just like, yeah, people, they made money. They had to pay very little. We didn't get our, our like labor's worth back. He had a very valuable experience early on in learning that like the system can, you can conceive of it working one way, but it actually works another. And that's the real world. And that's where the world you have to make decisions in. You think many of the creators from RT will make their own content from now? I, could, I couldn't speculate on that at all. Uh, Hearts? I didn't even look at what these were. It gains four chips. It's exactly four cards. Okay. Only four chips? Oh shit, I did it in one hand. There are a lot of forces that make problems seem individual, that it's your fault rather than a system that affects a group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if it's a culture of, like, 
sacrificing others. Or if there's like a, a social pecking order that has that has established the clear winners in a group. It's three of a kind. Per planet card use currently. Hmm. So what happens? I guess I can sell these. Yeah, if, I guess if it generates jokers I don't like, I can just sell them. Don't get... So, guys, I'll put this out there. It is my... Uh... Here we go. It is my gaming wish that, that people don't get too antagonistic over over labor issues in chat. Uh, though I understand it's something that's very deeply, like, very deeply connected with everyone. At least Adam still has the dev Steam account, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that he does, but he certainly really enjoyed having ownership of it, and he loved having the password to it, and he told us that we could just ask him for it whenever we wanted. Yeah. So, whatever. Whatever. It feels better this way. I can't get too detached from the common gamer. Hey, Thornius, thanks for the sub. How's Bellatro? L literally never heard of this game before. It's it's good. It's good. It's addicting. Holy cow. These these jokers are outrageous. Buying uncommon jokers. Ah, that's why. Thank you for uh, noting that. These are all common. You're a clever one. I mean, I get, so when blind is selected, is that every blind? So I could sell these. Because it's just going to generate more. Oh. Oh. Plus one hand size. Holy cow. <sighs> just got to Costa del Sol. Nice. I'm still in Junon. Uh, it's leading up to the, the parade. I haven't been playing that much. I watched Shogun last night. Huh. Good TV is back. Good TV is back. 61%. Ah, Bumba Glart. What an amazing name. Thanks for the sub. So, okay, so every time I don't skip line, basically. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh. Show gun? No, hide gun. They should have named the show Hide Gun. Although it's a show about a gun, so can't it just it's show space. It makes sense to me. Is that at the end of every turn? Wizard! Sir Wizard. Well golly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the uh, the five sub gift on every plate hand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Heart. These are all really good, though. These are all really good. I don't want to get rid of any of them. Maybe I just dump money into uh, Arcana. Or not Arcan Arcanas are weird. They, they, yeah, those buff individual cards. I want to buff hands. I want to buff these hands. Yeah, just talk about Dune too. A rigidly apolitical work.
could have played uh, Metal Gear 2. I was thinking about that. Another... A game from before politics. Let's talk about the Gomja Bar. Isn't that the needle? It's like the pain needle or some shit. It's a fun word. Man, Dune is really good. Is really good. I haven't watched Dune two yet. But I, I watched, uh, I feel like Dune is a perfect plane movie. Holy cow, this is ridiculous. I'm so far ahead of the game already. This game does not have demon killing. The demon I had to kill was the Xbox app going wacky for a minute. In my haste, I uninstalled the Doom Eternal game, so now I gotta reinstall it. Yeah, Dune 2 is even better? Mm. I'm excited for it. That's like peak popcorn cinema. It's super well crafted. Uh, shots are beautiful to look at. There's a lot of there's a lot of like important subtext in most of the shots, and uh, and it tells an interesting story, man. It's been too long. It's some like uh, it almost reminds me of watching Cameron's work, like when Cameron was really blowing up. I mean, Avatar two I still really liked. I'm not too good for Avatar two. That movie ruled. I got to see it in, in laser 3D. And oh, oh yeah, I saw the 48 hertz version too. So sick! High frame rate 3D lasers into my brain, man! Polychrome to a random joker. Creates a rare joker. Have you seen Dune 84? Uh, I've tried. <laughs> I don't think I've ever successfully made it through Lynch's Dune without falling asleep. It ends the knife fight, right? Or am I wrong about that? Dune 2 is all eye protein and a sea of candy. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I didn't think it was going to replace all of my jokers! Why did it do that? <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I need to do? What I should have done is install Dune 2000. I wonder if there's an easy way to do that. I want to at least watch the intro video. Wait. No, it's not Dune 2000. No, there was a 3D Dune game. What was that called? It was like Dune Legacy or something like that? Hold on. It was the one that came out in like 2001 or 2002. God. Westwood Studios. <laughs> although, although I remember they... Wait, was it 2000? I thought it was 3D. Yeah. My brain is messing up. Maybe it was 2000. All right. Huh. It was 2002? Did... Did Westwood... Is it this? Nah, maybe this. Is this what I'm thinking of? Did it have... FMV? Yeah, there are there were a fair amount of, of uh, Dune games actually, dating back pretty far. Oh, all in one installer, hell yeah! The one I'm thinking of though had like had FMVs from John Reese, had like John Reese Davies. Okay, Michael Dorn. I guess John Reese Davies may have been in the in Dune 2000. Cause Dune 2000 had FMV. Yes. Okay. I'm tired of this now. You bore me. 
I want to watch the intro to Dune 2000. <laughs> I gotta start reading those books. Everybody's intimated that they go to some some weird places, and I'm into that. I don't know though. Sometimes it gets like. I know for a fact it it does the thing that all psychedelic sci-fi writers does and gets almost intolerably horny. The planet Arrakis, known as Doom. Doom. Stranger in a strange land, man. It's like, that's, I always think about that book as the archetype for every horny, weird, did acid a couple of times, spicy writer from the 70s. Whoever controls Dune controls the spice. The Emperor has proposed a challenge to each of the houses. The house which produces the most spice controls Dune. There are no set territories, no rules of engagement. Vast armies have arrived. Now three houses fight for control of doom. The noble Atreides. The insidious Ordos. The evil Harkon. Only one house will prevail. Why was Westwood called Westwood when they were in Texas, not Massachusetts? They were in California, I thought. They had a studio in Texas for a while, but I thought they were headquartered in... in Cali. Oh, they were in Las Vegas, Nevada. We were both wrong. Shit. Comp oh, we can, we can get there right. Wait a minute, what? See here, the company was named after the entertainment meets professional character of the Westwood neighborhood in Los Angeles. We really liked the entertainment meets professional character of Westwood, California in LA. And the attraction of the area to teens and young adults felt like it felt like the perfect fit for a new company specializing in entertainment software. Even back then, we recognized that it took a team of people to make great products. So we appended the associates to emphasize that aspect of product development. We were not really sure if we could make a go at game development, so the original name Westwood Associates also gave us the ability to get into the more traditional business software, or a business software if necessary. Interesting. Okay, well, learning, always learning. All right, so. It's by the will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by the juice of Safu that thoughts acquire speed, the lips acquire stains, the stains become a warning. It is by the will alone I set my mind in motion. Yeah, Westwood, I always know as Command and Conquer guys, but they did a lot of great games. <laughs> I am the Menta Tate. You're new, aren't you? No heart plug. Don't let the Baron see you. I'm going to let you in on a secret. If only because you are a speck of Arakian dust, and I could kill you at any time without consequence. Things aren't going so well for the Harkonnen. Are we to sit back and watch as the Emperor gives away spice that is rightfully ours? Look at this set in the background. Take our imperial basin. It's like a goop basin. Take some men and mine everything and execute everyone who tries to stop you. Away with you. And watch the worms. You have no use to us dead. FMV games are the best. They're so campy. It's it's like a... I feel like it's a good mix of, of maybe getting more theatrical talent. Like booking out of, out of local uh, theater troops and stuff. But also just the monstering directly to camera is... Ugh, it doesn't exist anywhere else. But that's what video games ought to be, right? And to some degree, I think it, it leans into the somewhat masturbatory notion of games in general. That you're the main character. You're the you're the agent. Oh no, this logo. Yeah. I've seen the latest casualty reports, Commander. We are suffering far too many losses. The Fremen are becoming increasingly distrustful, and we are losing their respect and support. Your performance must improve, or I will have no choice but to replace you. Your water is wasted, Gafla. <laughs> the body it fills is useless. So sick, dude. 
The Duke has given your water to my tribe as a gesture of goodwill. It will be put to good use, I assure you. He's got that Neil Breen beard going on. Stupid. It's a disgrace to House Harkonnen. All right. That kind of looks like Jacob, though. If this inept performance continues, I'll have you skinned alive. Jacob's everywhere. You are worthless and weak. Even the Baron has grown tired. Wait, I know that guy. Oh, by the way, what was he in? We took the small liberty of implanting a heart. Vincent Schiavelli. <laughs> Time to die, Commander. Farewell. He pulled out my cigarette lighter. Oh, he's a ghost. Yes. I haven't seen that movie in like 20 years. Look at how amazing this is. I've been thinking about this game a lot. Okay, I gotta play this. Your is terminated. My what is terminated? I'll serve as an example to future I terminate it all you want. Fear is an efficient tool of management. <laughs> what a reveal! Why won't they just let us die? EA shut them down pretty shortly after this. Look at his tiny arms! I didn't know the worms had teeny little arms. L little like T-Rex arms. Holy shit. Uh, it is not conscionable what they did. I mean, everybody gets mad at EA. But, but like, n people don't really get mad about, like, Black Box or... What? I don't know. Whatever. We have to clear our minds and reset our, our frustrations and angers and play a hopefully functioning Doom Eternal. Sinking data, that's a good sign. We still have Tiberian Sun. That's true. Uh-oh. It's going to launch on the wrong monitor. Doom Eternal is the only game that is so weirdly persnickety. Every time it resets its options, it like goes to another monitor and rotates. It's pretty sick. Oh, the train guy in Matrix 2. Yes, Tony. Thank you. He he was in a lot of movies that I watched a lot of, but like, you know, it's one of those like somebody's uh somebody's just kind of burned into your memory and you don't know why. That was the weirdest aspect ratio I've ever seen. Okay, I need to download the campaign. Because I haven't done that yet, apparently. Uh, install. This is fine, though, because it means I can jump through all the hoops of getting this on the right monitor. Let's see if I'm lucky. That's wrong! Okay, let's try this one. I like how it knows... The, uh, it says this one is default. But it doesn't... It didn't go to it. All right, we're in business now, folks. Okay, yeah, my profile's here. Are all of my settings? Probably not. I don't think it cloud syncs settings at all. Well, field of use at 100, motion blurs off. Yeah, the, the performance metrics are already on. Yeah, okay. Huh. <sighs> We are about to play a video game. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, if you use the RT commands on YouTube, there's a Variety article covering it. Yep, sad news. Very, very sad news today. Frustrating news. Angering news. But, uh, I don't know. It's, it's the way the damn cookie crumbles, I guess. Sucks ass, but... Are all the bindings set? Good. That is a good question. The command doesn't work. Really? I wonder if I if I botched the because it worked for me, but maybe I botched all the. Maybe I botched the uh, permissions or something. Guys, just to just to maximize the. Uh, the sad vibes. It is raining. Okay, there it goes. Wow. 
Uh, Shay Nasty, thanks for the sub. Where's that gamer glove? It's kind of it's kind of worn out. I need to get a new one. I got one of the earlier models. It was like 3D printed. I think their materials have gotten better. But uh <sighs> uh, future time traveler, thanks for the sub. It'll probably reconnect. <gasps> ha! Good. Okay. Cool. Now. All right. It's been a it's been a rocky start. Just an hour. Just an hour behind, but I'm going to restart the last level. How come you're playing through an Xbox or the Xbox app? It's a good excuse to play the game again cuz it's a different save than Steam and then uh achievements. Achievements. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Time for video games. Gaming's back on the menu, folks. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters Good of the Good news for the faithful. I, uh... This, this actually picks up pretty fast. So... It might take me a minute to, uh... To, to speed back up. This area is no longer secure. Evacuation protocol is in effect. Turning it up in my headphones a little bit. Whoop. Oh, okay, that got him. We're good. Almost blew myself up. Switch the game again. Yes, I do need to do that. Thank you. Oh shit! Burp. Okay. <laughs> uh, the dopamine feels so good. It's working. Oh yeah, Keenan. Yeah, I guess I put some time in. Oh, yeah, Victoria. I agree. I agree. Frustrating to see things turn out this way. Ow! Wait, am I? God, that takes forever. Oh, it's not upgraded, I bet.
Yeah, damn. I'm surprised that the government doesn't have to regulate how hard those beats go. Oh yeah, Morgie? The, headquarters is under the wrestling video, do you mean, what was it, House of Pain or the wrestling gameplays? I guess it's all part of the same universe. Oh. Oh, how's pain? Yeah. Yeah, that was a really fun experience. Very grateful I got to be a part of that. Anything around here? What did I miss? Oh, there's a whole thing down there. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything out here, really. Was it difficult to learn? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Wrestling is phenomenally challenging. I would not have been able to do... Like, if, if I were truly uh, a novice, I would have, like... I don't know. I was able to do some stuff in the match. But yeah, uh, and that's only because I had, I actually, I mean, I had years of martial arts training before that. And without that, I would have been fully sunk. Minor Tom, thank you for the sub. <laughs> When's your tell-all autobi autobiography coming? The Cock That Cried Tooth? Oh, that's actually a really good title. It took me a second. <laughs> No, I, I, the last thing I want is for my autobi autobiography to be about another company. How depressing. <laughs> and also, I think uh, in an, on a big enough time scale, I mean, probably not that interesting in the long run. Same old story, really. As sad as it is. I am switching unnecessarily. I'm not I'm not trying to look like annoying doom gameplay where people are switching guns a lot. I'm just hitting the wrong buttons. Huh. <sighs> that was close though. Holy shit. I like I went into a glory kill animation just as like the cleave that would have killed me went through me. Cause you're invincible when you're glory killing, thank god. Uh. <laughs> Still warming up a little bit. So wait a minute, this place always... Oh yeah, you gotta hit the thing, I think. You gotta go there and see that the door doesn't open. Yeah, uh, Velocibleco. Or is it Velocibleco? Anyway. Uh, yeah, the, the glory kill is such an interesting tool in the rhythm of Doom. Because after a while, you kinda need to not do it. It actually makes you vulnerable in... 
when you scale up high enough. It's the it's the moment you come out of the glory kill that that can just murder you instantly. But uh, it's like it gives you a moment to think. It gives you a moment to look. Blacko. All right, thank you. Uh, it gives you a moment to like look at all your resources, see where you're at. And it's it's just like a temporary pause that you can that you can give yourself, sort of. But it's also not free. You have to create the situation to do it. Let's wait until that, that's up. I have a blood punch? I have a blood punch. Fuck! Oh, I forgot! I forgot, that gets me all the time. You don't, it doesn't buffer inputs after a blood punch. You can, with most, uh, whenever you're doing most things in this game, what the fuck? Hi. When you're in the cooldown of one thing, oh, all right, he's dead. When you're in the cooldown of one action, you can hit the button of the next one if it's close enough. So let's say you're like, you're swapping weapons or something. If you hit fire just before your weapon comes up, you'll usually shoot as soon as you, your weapon comes out. But if you, uh, go, if you do a blood punch, any buttons you hit before blood punch is done, do not buffer the next thing. So a lot of the times I'll blood punch, hit a button to change weapons, but the weapon won't change because I hit it too early. I need to remember to, to like spam the weapon swap after that. Anyway, just, just some, some, some Doom Eternal Stratton for you. Yeah, Brandon? That's actually really flattering. Oh. Yeah, 20, 2016 is, is more narrative focused. Definitely has more of a, a narrative flow. Not as not as overtly video gamey. But I like video games, so it works for me. The thing is I'm I'm a huge fan of the slower narrative set piece build up thing. The more Half-Life style of 2016. Like the environments are, are more, well, for the first like half of the game maybe, more architected around what might be actual human spaces. And then they turn into more Doom arenas by the end of it. Whereas this game, it doesn't care. Everything is a video game level. It just has the, the visual artifice of being like a hallway or an office space. Got to get Dr. Breathy. This is Dr. How do you... I guess I'll get down there later. 002. Subject analysis of Doom Slayer. January 24th. I like the Doom Guys animations in 2016. There's a lot less of that character here. I don't know. I think there's explicitly a lot more about Doom Guy in this game. But that kind of makes... That makes it that makes it feel like less. It's more explicit. I feel like the the very few uh, character telling moments you had in 2016 for Doom Slayer were like the way he would break stuff or the way he would push buttons. So yeah, super super subtle is what I is a, a thing I didn't expect about 2016. Uh, Eternal a lot less subtle. There's like, there's more, there's cutscenes about the Doom Slayer, cutscenes with the Doom Slayer doing things. I mean, he's usually, he doesn't say much, you know, but he, he moves around more, he's visible more, he reacts to things. Man. I miss anything yet? I did! I did! This is the time. 
Yeah, much more tell don't show. Or yeah, yeah. But I I don't know. I think it's measured. It doesn't it doesn't uh doesn't overly linger on cutscenes or storytelling. It says what it needs to say and it gets gets on with it pretty quickly. I think they also, you know, they they spend their screen time pretty wisely try and convey a lot with it. Because I I really don't know. I haven't I have I have no information about the topic and haven't worked there for years. Uh I'm gonna I don't know about losing a Twitch channel. Usually when usually when like a brand is done with something, that shit just all gets put in a box and, and put in a closet somewhere. And I don't think I don't think any media executive at at Warner is gonna see a lot of value in a, an account, a Twitch TV account. So I don't know. What are you What are you curious about? Where What would happen with it after this anyway? Pond Scum, thanks for the sub. He is a god. Maybe he represents. Uh, isn't D Isn't Doomguy supposed to be Blaskowitz? So that That's like a. I think that was a cheeky reference in. Doom RPG, I think? Technically not part of this continuity. But yeah, there there were some references in older older games that Commander Keen and BJ Blaskowitz and Doom Guy were all related. Yeah. It's cute, but it's not like it's nothing that they intended to run with. And it's definitely not part of like Machine Games' Wolfenstein games. It's definitely not part of this. Let's see here. Looking at G4 TV, how the name is still there, but everything is removed off of it. That'd be the same with it, or would it be Warner allow them to have specific rights to certain things so they can buy that off them to keep the name going? No. <laughs> I was in a conversation like that when I, well, again, I, I have no specific information, but I guarantee you Warner gives no fucks. It's not worth Warner's time to even talk about it. It's, the it, like, they would have to draw up all this paperwork. They would want a lot of money for it. And there's no way that anyone has that just kicking around. I'm sure that they shopped around for buyers for it already. They wouldn't just decide to, to, to close Rooster Teeth without seeing if they could get some money off of it. I'm, I think it's safe to say there were no buyers. So like... It's, it's nice to imagine a company, like, trying their best to, to do what's right by people, and part of that might include some vision of negotiating the transfer of ownership of things, but it's not worth, it's not worth Warner's interest. Like, why would they waste any time doing that? They're not gonna make any money off of it. Just to, just to look good in front of, like, 300 people on the internet? These are, these are lawyers that are, like, negotiating billions of dollars of property rights and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. No. When a company decides it's done with a toy, it's pretty much done. Hope this isn't also the fate of Giant Bomb. Giant Bomb sold out too. I, I mean, I, whatever, I hope not. But they, they were reacquired by CBS. Oh yeah, there's that thing up there. So, whatever, whatever, man. This is something I say a lot, but when a company sells out, that's when it's over. It's over then. That's the exact second. Bungie, Insomniac, everyone wants to believe it happens later. The only thing that happens after selling out is like, I guess people can try to make a go of it, but it's, it's destined to go down the same path. There can be some fun times along the way, but the only way for anything to last more than 10 years, I think, in any space, is to be independently owned. 
and for the independent owners to not have like outrageous ambitions. Anyway, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to sell out. Just tell me. Just tell me where. Yeah, Mega64. Pretty much the only only brand in the game that has lasted as long as it has. It's been incredibly authentic the whole time. And I'm sure that they've had opportunities to to acquire be acquired or scale up or do the do the internet media thing. Rocco's too pure. At least we hope. I don't want to lionize anyone too much. If if today personally, I hate to make it about me, but if today is a reminder of anything, it's to it's to not give people undue respect when I had when I don't know them personally. <laughs> but anyway. Yep. Inside games. And then I think in like two more years, inside games will have been run longer than any individual run of inside gaming. Yes, Brandon, lionize me. I'm the only, I'm clearly the only one telling you the truth, clearly. Because I've constructed many straw men that I am I look immaculate next to. It's safe to lionize me. I'm not like that. Anyway, I'm just gr I'm just grateful that I was able to find a spot where I get to keep doing what I what I love doing. Uh, and I I can only hope that everyone else lands in a similar position and I can I can do what I can try to do along the way to help help the people that deserve it land where they where they belong Oh, did I miss it again? Uh yeah, there's there's a I keep keep getting into a flow here, man. I got to watch it. Ah, uh, thank you, Fujirari. Goosegate? You still have Brian? Have? I mean, yeah. Brian is writing scripts with us at Inside Games. Uh, he's actually been looking to scale up Inside Games stuff, so I'm excited to do that. We're probably going to go up to like three, epi three news episodes a week. Um, just because I want, like... They're not necessarily performing super well. YouTube is YouTube these days, but I want to, so I'm gonna. And I'm hoping that just increased production will lead to more popularity. It's kind of a... What can be a little deceptive about it is it's kind of a self-feeding cycle. The more you make, the more likely you are to get in front of people, the better you get it at... Oh! I missed it again! Or the better you get at doing it, and the engine keeps turning. Hey, Taxer. Did you finish Seven Rebirth? No, no. I'm taking it real slow. Real, real slow. To the tune of, like, I'm pretty early on in the game still. But, I, man, that game's phenomenal, and I'm enjoying every second I spend with it. I think I kind of figured out pretty early on that it doesn't seem like the kind of thing people want to watch on Twitch, which I get. I don't want to watch it on Twitch either. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no! Ah. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, I guess I need to turn that off again. It's sprinkling. I hear sprinkles. Oh, it was? Oh, it is leveled up. Hmm. Yeah, someone's taking a shower. Oh, 
Got it, nice. I didn't get the coin, though. Does Rebirth have hard mode from the jump? No, it has, it has like, dynamic mode or whatever that they say is for people who, who like thrilling combat. So I'm gonna, it seems like it's some kind of automatic scaling mode where the better you play, the harder it gets, but it's still not that hard. I don't, it does, I haven't gotten to like a difficult fight yet. They give you a lot more tools too, so I'm waiting for it to, to kind of really layer on. You have zero MP abilities that have elements now, so they're getting a lot more intricate about the process required to stagger and pressure enemies. Is Rebirth the full seven? I don't think so, no. It's the middle game in a trilogy. It keeps it engaging though, I'll say that. Teton, yeah, I don't, uh, like I can't just hold attack and, and bop everything. So that's, that's something. I think I've already, oh yeah, it's the, ooh, it's the kitchen under here. This part is rough. Wait, did I get everything? No. There's a... Yeah, there's there's two more things. Okay. Haven't seen Dune 2 yet. I'm excited to, though. I was just gushing about how awesome Dune is. Dune your mom. Nice. Got me! Oh, if you said that joke already, I didn't... I didn't get it. Or I didn't see it. Ah! Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god! Fuck! Ah! Okay. Man, that was always a that was always a real pain point trying to get through Ultra Nightmare. The game sure does scratch an itch. Yeah, Super Bale. Was that first try? It was. It was. It got pretty It got pretty pretty dicey there for a second. I got to remember to look at the icons in the middle of the screen. Those weren't there when I kind of developed all my muscle memory. So I'm uh I keep looking at the lower right during uh, glory kills and stuff. 
Although those icons disappear during lower kills, which is interesting. Oh wait, I have to I gotta do this. Asking you about YouTube? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Warner will do. Um, all I can do is extrapolate the way that I've seen companies move in this situation from before, aka when Warner decided Machinima was too much of an, an annoyance. Think about it this way. Uh oh. Yeah, Grislamic. I figured. I mean, people are curious. Um, it's fine. Here's here's how I sort of think about this situation. Um, is it in Warner's interest to leave that content up? And bear in mind that legacy views are not worth anything. Um, there is a concept that having nostalgic videos just living on YouTube will rake in all of these views that are coming from everywhere. It doesn't work that way at all. Uh, nostalgic views, you get maybe like a hundred or so. <laughs> it's not worth anything. So what, what happens is the way that the logic that I see big corporations applying in situations like this is that if there's legions of content from somewhat edgy YouTubers and and also potentially content that contains other materials that they don't know about, it's only a, a liability. It's only a potential liability having that content just live and be freely consumable because somebody could always tie it to you about something some idiot like me said in 2016 and then make it a corporate problem i feel like the i feel like that culture is not as heavy as it used to be to be honest but still i think i think the math of it equals out to like situations like that there's always going to be a reason like there's no never a good reason to leave it up and always a good reason to take it down so i don't trust Warner to go out of their way to ensure that you still have access to videos you might want to watch. Uh, if it's if it's not in their interest and it doesn't make them money. First target destroyed. The Would they go after employees uploading the backlog of content to private channels? Uh, I can't say, let me be clear, I can't say at all what a company might do, but I feel like something like that would also not be in their interest. They have no reason to actively pursue and persecute the sharing of that content after the fact. So I think you can operate with some amount of knowledge that it's pretty clearly not a hot property for Warner, right? I think they've demonstrated that. So, if they don't even care to fund it and keep it going, they probably also don't care to shut down private YouTube channels that are sharing that content. They might, if they don't have anything better to do. But it's another thing that doesn't earn them any money. Yeah, if, if they're not losing money, they have no reason to waste their time pursuing it. No, you should give me your- wait, hold on. Let's be clear, you should give me your money. That's always the case, because I'm trustworthy, remember that. When you're on Funhouse, you were an employee of- from Warner or RT? I was an employee of Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth was owned by Fullscreen, excuse me, and then Otter Media, and then Warner. There might be some other holding companies in the middle, but... But yeah. I, as an entity, I worked for, I was a corporate employee of Rooster Teeth, but that, that company was owned by five other ones. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Yeah, 
The surface being your hard drive. If, uh, if you're worried about things being available. Yeah, technically. What a, what a shitty, shitty timing all around. Bruce RT's winding down and Bruce caught a shitty ban for no fucking reason. This is the first time that uh, Twitch's erratic moderation has actually, like, personally affected or, or affected something in my personal orbit. So, now I get it. Yeah, I think Bruce is banned for like another five, four hours. It, it's almost up, but yeah. It's, it's the dumbest thing. There was just, there was an emote and a current theory is that Bruce has some hater out there that's just like brigading, re reporting things over and over. If somebody has that much time, you only have to find the one Twitch mod who's who's just got a, had a bad day or something. Usually Twitch deletes the emote. So I think they did. So he re-uploaded it with a big black box covering it, which was really funny because it's a it's a goose twerking. It's a goose. It is a bird shaking a bird butt. It is not sexual in the slightest. It's funny, but the, the fact that Twitch banned it is funny, so censoring it is even funnier. I thought it was fucking amazing. And then I guess, I, I can only assume that some... Some person with only 30 seconds to make a decision, because they had a giant queue, saw it, assumed it was ban evasion, and handed Bruce the, the dumbest of all wrist slaps. you'd still be alive tits and entrails what the hell hold on got to take a break for that because that's outrageously generous fifty dollars are you serious been checking out your stuff ever since you were a talking laptop screen glad you still collab with bruce and i'm curious any thoughts on bringing the original crew back for one last shindig down memory lane um nah i have no interest in that but thank you for the uh, extreme generosity. Appreciate that. I feel like that... Technically, that already happened. A million years ago, they did a, a reuniting of Inside Gaming to promote the movie Tag. You remember that? So unfortunately, we're all older than we think. I did wear my vintage 2019 Rooster Teeth Inside Gaming relaunch shirt today though. What a year that was. Learned a lot of valuable lessons that year. What are your thoughts on talking stockings looking back? That looked like such a mess. No thoughts, really. I thought they were really funny. I mean, it is, it is kind of a, I mean, I, I guess like, like most things at Rooster Teeth, it was a, it was a more raucous version of something that already existed, but I had a lot of fun. I don't think, uh, in retrospect though, I guess Talking Stockings itself, yeah, the, that, the drinking happened before, that was my production, so. That's the thing that I would probably have, have done differently. 
but uh, there were a confluence of factors that led to the way thing, the way that I did things. Oh, piz, piznit, pizen. We'll just go with pizen, pizinti. That's it. Um, I try not to have any. Or my Doom shirt today? You knew. You knew. How much of a pain was it making those animations from the demo disc songs? Uh, I'm not sure which animations you're referring to. There was a window where, like, where Bruce was parodying songs in demo disc, and his... Uh, his... He wanted me to try to emulate the music videos, which was honestly a fun, a fun challenge. Uh... I actually really liked doing those edits because it was like... It was a- it was almost like a puzzle. You had like four hours. So it was- it was also a really intense budgeting game. You can bite off like an idea. And you can work towards making it real. Like photoshopping out assets and animating it and finding music and stings and stuff. And you can get it as close as you can get it in the amount of time you have. And sometimes just doing the broad strokes of it make it more endearing. Like it kind of adds to... Cobble together charm. Yeah. I had a lot of fun editing Demo Disc. I thought there was a lot of potential in... in a gameplay that... had... more structure to the edit. Jesus, I have no ammo! This is something I can fix, though. No! Oh. I should have... should have handled that differently. Wait a minute, hold on. Somebody's saying something... I missed a message. Cut it out at the corner of my eye. Okay. No question. Getting to meet you at RTX Sydney was a highlight of the weekend. It led me here. Ah. Well, it's good to have you around. RTX Sydney was a, a hell of an experience. Yeah, no death run starts now. There's an achievement for finishing with a certain... Oh, wait. I think that's an extra lives mode. Mm. I think I had this exact conversation with myself before. Okay. I've got everything. I don't need to finish the stage, but I want to. Oh, there was a gamer stretch, if you're feeling it. I sure am. Have you talked to any of your old cohorts at RT since the announcement? I've made some texts, yeah. Uh, I don't... I don't want to share anything, because I don't want to, like, be secondhand information. So, I've reached out to people. Um, and yeah, it's, it's rough for everyone. I'm just trying to... Just trying to offer whatever, you know, trying to be available. Where'd he come from? Doesn't he know it's time to stretch? Did he climb? They can climb up? Alright, fine. You made me do that. Yeah, well, lover. I agree. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the things turned out for myself. I... I hope that others can get to similar situations, and I'll certainly do anything I can to help that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, pool Boy, probably. I think it's unlikely uh, that it'll exist if if Warner's decided it's not worth uh, it's not worth funding. I I doubt that. Uh, like companies are not in the habit of giving away properties that they own, brands. Even if they've decided they don't want to make it anymore, they're not about to let somebody else have it for free. Or even for even for a reasonable amount of money. Are you nervous about leaving Funhouse and what you would do after? Yeah. Uh, yeah, very much so. 
had no idea if I would be able to be uh, successfully independent. Didn't even know what kind of line of work I would get into. At the time, I was having conversations with, um, I was having conversations with some some executives uh, for video production projects uh, at various companies, and some of them would have been pretty cool. But COVID hit right after that, so those conversations evaporated, you know. And when all that work picked up three years later. The people that I was talking to were in different departments or didn't even work in those companies anymore. So, so yeah, uh, basically all the threads I had on like hot work disappeared with COVID. Um, some other opportunities presented themselves, but yeah, kind of, kind of went into uh, streaming because of it. Uh, oh, East Coast, congratulations! I'm gonna stretch while we hear from Riddick here. Uh, enjoy your 420 East Coast. I'll be right back. I do every move and I do every move hard and I can always sing sounds when I slam down some negro bastards or even when I mess up technique how many can say they escape the gallows most dangerous prison I can I say it and I say it to whatever did to people in my college class and all they do is poor people in college class can still be amateur jackers alright that was a good stretch Yeah, Legando. I don't I don't think everybody wants to do that. I'm so bad you left without another job lined up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a job offer. I was also fairly confident that I could I could be an independent contractor in any capacity because I'd done it before. I was a freelance a full time freelance writer for years before I worked for Machinima and then Rooster Teeth. Which sidebar, uh, it sure is It sure is fun to work as like a professional writer for a decade and then have everyone at Rooster Teeth treat you like you've never written a day in your life. It sure is fun to write scripts for a daily show. Anyway, sorry. Um, I'm, that's a lot. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that anymore. Not gonna do that anymore. My understanding is you left for cause... For cause? Spectra? I'm not sure what you mean. Um... It was... As you might expect, it was a, it was a combination of a lot of factors. But, you know... The biggest one was was RT's terrible handling of, of sensitive situations. Like, I guess I guess most fundamentally, it was very clear that no one was gonna help me out <laughs> on, in any regard. And even when the time came for people to step up and do the right thing, they actively didn't, because it was like. It was, it was, yeah, there were, there were all sorts of gross factors about it, so. Once you try everything, you know. Nothing left. I think it's just the life? Yeah, I got everything else. Uh, do I need the life, though? I don't remember how to get that. Yeah, HR protects the company. And if the company culture is a certain way... Then that's what they're they're there for. Oh no! Oh no! I did it again. Oh, it 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 stops it if you do it again. Sick. Hmm. Anyway, sorry. Um. I the last thing I want is to is to just make this about me venting and not about. Not about potentially, uh, or not, or I don't want to take the focus off the people who were, who were done the most wrong. Who's your HR manager? Let me get him. Hello, I'm the HR manager. I hear you have a complaint about Lawrence. Surprised it's not Stephanie? She's too busy for that shit. One moment. Tell us your favorite people at RT. Mm, that's tough. The path is 
is now clear. You can access I mean Jacob is Jacob is beautiful. Just the most immaculately happy and beautiful person. Patrick and Charlotte. I'm so grateful to have met both of them. I was got along with Matt. I'm very lucky that I met Bruce. I mean we have a we have a working relationship that's been it's been years long now. Yeah, Omar? A lot of very, very genuine, hardworking, fundamentally lovable people there, which sucks. That's that's the thing that's the most frustrating and baffling. Like there's there's seriously almost a a thermocline at, at Rooster Teeth, uh, below which everyone is like good and genuine, but massively exploited and and underappreciated, and above which everyone just like calcifies their position and does nothing. Damn it! I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I'm venting again. I need to save that for later. But yeah. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks and it never doesn't suck. Follow me. Huh. $69 and 42 cents. Did I see that right? What? I, okay. I don't mean to be a, a thank you for, okay, so first of all, thank you. But, uh, mm, consider, consider putting that money away for someone else right now. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hold on. Let me, let me look it up. Uh, I'm fine. I'm, I ha I built my own thing. I have, I have channels I work for pretty established. They're working my, I'm feeling good. Life's great. Uh, dang CD. Thank you very much. If, uh, what you could do for me, if you could, if you want to give me money right now, just kind of like file it away in the back of your brain and, and hopefully there will be a chance to, uh, to give, forward that money on if you could for me. Just forward that on. To, uh, to one of the affected. I could do it, but that's a little like, that's kind of, <laughs> that's the worst, right? <laughs> I can't do that. Guys, give me money so that I can, if you give me money, I'll PayPal it to Jacob, all right? Just do that, it's fine. All right, how about this? It's a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser. Every... Every five hundred dollars generously donated to my Save Rooster Teeth Fund. I'll reveal a spicy detail. This is a joke. I have to say that as close as possible so that it can't get edited out. I'm telling you to give money to people not... Okay. Oh, I, I took too long of a break. Fuck, somebody already edited it. Anyway, don't clip it. This is in the middle of me telling you to give money to other people. But also... But also... No. But also... I have Jacob's Venmo. Warning. All our personnel. I don't know what that means. You, you tell me what that means. Evacuation is advised. It could mean anything. Oh boy. Oh no! Anyway, we're just joking around! We're just joking around. It's dark comedy, right? That's what we do. We joke at the... We joke in the face of the black things in the world. Gotta laugh it off sometimes. Why is it mega shaking? What's going on? That's not normal, I don't think.
Okay, it's done, I guess. Yeah. Doom guy got the wiggles. I just want to fight the... I want to fight the... This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log and Marauder again. Why am I just blanking on that for a minute? March 3rd, 2163. Yeah. Zazlov is probably real broken up about this. He can't even get through his pate. I'm sorry, I just don't have an appetite. Thinking about all those poor employees I had to lay off today. I don't know what he sounds like. That's what a guy who's in the middle of some pate sounds like. Got mean pate voice. His caviar, ugh. Yeah, he's eating foie gras, caviar, and pate on top. On a little toasty. And it, like, the second he bites into it, it just evaporates in his hands, and he's like, ah! <laughs> Poor guy, can't even afford some, like, solid bread to eat his triple-layer bean dip on. Dr. Hayden's office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Coughs on the crumbs. <laughs> Emergency protocols have been activated. Theodore, you've positively fried my bread! First I had to lay people off, and now this. <laughs> My God, um, uh, Dr. Hayden was uh, convinced uh, that he'd come here. Dr. Jones, thanks for the sub. Thank you. My brand. <laughs> uh, can I just say that it is an honor for me personally to meet you? I. Oh. Attention! Emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. So I think you wanna you wanna hit him with probably with a ballista first. We uh then shoot a grenade and then bang bang bang. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to uh, prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. His life signal is barely readable. Not the BFG part yet. I think that's the next. Threat level five entering main laboratory. I think it's the next mission. You have a funnest episode slash moment. Hmm. I remember when we were shooting the Ghostbusters sketch in Arizona Circle. I was shooting some behind the scenes stuff, which I guess never turned into anything. But there was this weird peacock just wandering around on the road, so I was just kind of following it around, and it was a nice moment, like. I think they were setting up a shot or whatever, and it, it felt at the time like they're making something cool with people that I don't know. It was cool to be a part of that. But that trip, actually, producing Arizona Circle sucked, though. Holy shit! Ugh, never been more exhausted in my life. Oh, can't be missing though. Ooh. Okay. No problem. Get out of here. Get out. Yeah, Yoda. Rough day. Rough day. I have to admit it is it is nice to see a lot of the folks on the internet that I got to meet through. Producing GTA gameplays and stuff. Feels good. Okay. Save an exit. Can the sub channels be sold off? Um, someone else asked that. Certainly they could, but I really don't think Warner has any interest in doing that. And they've theoretically already explored those conversations uh usually that's the order of operations you know a company decides something is not earning enough money or they don't want it they're going to talk to other companies about selling it because they want some money off of it and if they can't reach any agreements there then they just close it um so i presume those conversations happened and warner didn't get any numbers they wanted so and if if other potential media companies can't put up numbers that warner wants theoretically it seems unlikely that negotiating with individuals would would yield that. 
<sighs> Drunken, I have no, I can't say for sure. Uh, it sure seems like it though. I don't, I, I don't want to be mistaken as a source of information about anything here, because I'm, I'm as disconnected as everyone else at this point. Oh, I appreciate that, Yoda. You know, no one ever really mentioned that. If anything, everybody there kept kept saying that the gameplay didn't matter, and I was like, well, I did put effort into that. <laughs> but maybe it didn't, I don't know. Did you find out today with everyone else? Of course, yeah. The only functional slip gate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars. How are we going to get to the core of Mars? I have marked its location for you, but getting there will take time. There is no easy way to access. Hello, Donald Plump. Am I surprised? No. I don't think anyone's surprised. The BFG 10,000. Designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the BFG 10,000 now. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. I'll show you, Dad. The portal is ready. The portal's ready. The portal is ready. I have some tokens to spend. This is a good mission. How many times have you beaten this game? You know? Not as many as you'd think. Um. Oh, that's nice. I've played it a ton, but I want to say I've only finished the campaign like five or six times. And I've only, uh... Oh, I don't have any coins. Never mind. Don't I? I thought I picked one up last mission. It's batteries. I have bat batteries open the door to coins. That's the exchange here. Batteries can be exchanged for goods and services. Um, and I've only finished the DLC in its totality one time. So I'm actually kind of, I want to see the ending again. It's kind of underwhelming, but that's okay. It provides more spectacle than it does narrative satisfaction. And that's kind of how it ought to be. So I feel like it's okay. Yeah, I have I have tried hundreds of times. Never done the DLC. Was it good? Yeah, I would say so. They the DLC one and DLC two have pretty different philosophical approaches. One is trying to be even more Doom than Doom. It's it's a ramp up from the end of Doom Eternal, which was already really out there. Uh, so it's intense. Doom DLC two is kind of like a victory lap. It's a little simpler, a little more flowier. It has big ridiculous set pieces. So it it's kind of like the end when you have your like turret sequence on top of a, a dragon shooting. It, there's not a turret sequence in Doom. I'm just saying like this is basically the equivalent. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, I don't I don't mind so much that the ending is underwhelming because that's not why I was playing it anyway. That was just the fun thing on the side. I think. Ooh, I'm Batman. Thank you for the sub. I do appreciate that, like... The ending is so kind of non-specific and... and it's, it's good for what it is, in that it's kind of silly and doesn't make sense. You can kind of debate it and think about it, but really there's not a whole lot there, I don't think. Yeah, I agree, Captain. Tag 1 got pretty thick. The, like, the stone imps... I like that they, I guess I appreciate that they were trying to make all the mods matter, but that's like the least elegant way to do it. At least they, they moved and attacked differently. God. Oh, was Stone Imps tag two? Okay. And maybe I missed it. Yeah, wreck it. 
You're reinstalling it? It's always a good time to reinstall Doom. Oh, it gave me the arc out. Give me the arc broadcast. What's your favorite mission? Maybe this one? It goes through so much. We can only hope. You should do travel on this this level. Yeah, that was such a good question, Captain. I love that that Hugo Martin genuine like he he reacted like he genuinely never thought about it, which makes sense. Doom Eternal is a sexless game. Uh, Ty Lowe, I, I, I couldn't really say. Um, my experience with the upper management of RT was always extremely brief. And, uh, well... I can think of a... I can think of a few conversations where I was definitely invisible. But, um, whatever. Latch key is, I guess, how I would describe our relationship. You? You can't be here. They were very, like, always thinking about other things. We were there to earn money and not make noise, is kind of the impression I got. Oh, thank you, Dizzy. No, I don't, I don't want to, you know, whatever. I'm just, I'm trying to be di honest but diplomatic, and I'm not doing a good job of it. Roppelku? Thank you for the sub. Guys, BFG 10,000 is firing. That may happen a couple of times. How did you guys get into business with Rooster Teeth? We were at Machinima and knew that we were being undervalued there. Um, an amusingly similar situation where it's like Machinima was in bad straits. Like our, our success or failure would not alter the trajectory of the business, so they didn't care. Uh, which ended up being an, a remarkably similar situation years later. Anyway. Um, so we knew we wanted to leave. We were shopping around, uh, and then I guess Rooster Teeth got acquired by full screen, so Rooster Teeth had spending money, and I was not part of the earlier conversations. I was actually not a part of a lot of those conversations, but, um, yeah, the, I guess some, some people at full screen started talking with some of the members of the inside gaming team at Machinima. Acquisition negotiations started going around. There wasn't much of an acquisition, really. They just hired us. Unless there was some dealing I don't know about. But essentially, we left Rooster Teeth. They gave they gave us job offers. Not like a, a check or anything. We didn't get we didn't get to cash anything out. We just got a we just got another salary. Um, and then we made Funhouse when we started as Rooster Teeth employees. So we had a job offer from Rooster Teeth, and we left. Decided to leave Machinima. I think there was part of that negotiation. We had a really brief meeting with uh, Chad Gutstein. I think I'm getting the first name wrong. Maybe both name wrong. The the then CEO of, of Machinima, who's just like, nobody likes that guy. Anyway, we had a really brief meeting with him where we wanted to negotiate the op, like we wanted to negotiate the transfer of the inside gaming brand. And uh, you know, in typical CEO style, he was convinced that the brand was valuable, and we were trying to convince him that no, it's like it's us, it's our production, it's our show. Morning. You'll have a worthless name if, if we leave. And he was like, well, we disagree. He wanted an astronomical value for it, and he wanted like revenue share on everything we made. And we were like, no, it's our show. We made it. <laughs> we're not paying you to make the thing that we make with our own skills. And then I remember the phrase was, well, it looks like you just don't want to do business. 
and that was the end of the meeting. So, so that's what it feels like. Something similar. He needed he needed lines of business that would save him from overinvesting and shit nobody wanted. Oh, these are the ones I don't have. Okay. Are we dooming? Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Hey, Joe. How's it going? Is it too late to s There it goes again. Ugh, so sick. The entire, the entire game goes green for a little bit. Yeah, complicated day. Emotional day. Can't fix everything. I can't even fix most things. It's aggravating. But that's life. Yeah, Ricky and Elliot have always been awesome. Very lucky that we shared a room for a while. I always wish that, uh... I always wish to get to know both of them a little better, but... Maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days. Just one of those days. Warning. Give me something to break. That's why I'm playing Doom Eternal. I'm getting all my angry white boy energy out. How do I feel? Ah, oh, conflicted. Warning. How I feel is not the most important though, because I've done all right. I've done all right for myself. I'm very happy with my place in life. It would be cool to to work with work with some of those folks again. Yep. 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 Ah, uh, shit! Shit! I forgot! Ah, uh, I just used my flash! Have you guys heard about this? Heard about this BFG is firing? Have you heard about this? Yeah! BFG 10,000 is firing! There we go. Shit. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Fast bugger. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think we'll be getting a Doom 3? Or will they try and do something new? If you want to play a game called Doom 3, have I got good news for you. Um, but no, I assume, um, I assume they're not making another Doom game because I feel like it would have come out by now? The, show a Warning. On the, BFG 10, the amount of time leads me to believe that they're prototyping something new. Um, or that they've had to spend the time in the dev, the dev cycle. If they were just cranking out Doom levels this whole time, there would have been another Doom game. BFG 10, yeah, I'm pretty sure they said Doom was done. That Doom Year Zero thing, I guess. That would be weird. When you guys left IG, was Patreon not a thing? Um... 
Ooh, I think it was just barely becoming a thing. We actually had some pretty... We had some talks about, uh... We had some talks about going independent. Those conversations did happen. But there were, uh... There were certain folks that were very, 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 very much looking forward to working at Rooster Teeth. Um, maybe because they were culture fits. Consider what I said earlier about the culture of a company. And how sometimes, if a culture agrees with something, there's not a whole lot you can do to push against it. Just, just consider those statements together. Maybe it makes more sense. No, of course I'm not naming names. Why would I do that? This isn't about that. This is about supporting... Supporting the people who deserve to be supported. And hoping that they, uh, they land on their feet. Uh, Mars of War. I think the I think individual people have been posting updates on Twitter or something like that. And so perfectly normal to be concerned about. I mean, I am too. I want to know what's going on. I've reached out to some people on uh, via text, but. Eh, everybody's got to process it in their own time and say things when they're ready to say things. Yeah. If anything, the containment field around Charlotte has now been con has now been completely dismantled. So, if any, we've been due for Hurricane Force Charlotte for a while, and I'm frankly annoyed that we've had to wait so long. I think she's on tour still. I was really enjoying seeing her tour photos and stuff on Instagram. She's soaring, and it's wonderful to see. Yeah. Well, Charlotte and Patrick are doing what a show. Actually, hold up. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Hold on. What I should do is, uh... I'm gonna do rolling shoutouts to... To folks that stream. Um, you should check out Poor Choices Kitchen. That's John Holland's cooking channel on Instagram. What a show is fantastic. And you you just cannot beat the chemistry between Patrick and Charlotte. As as whoa, as shitty of a year 2019 was, it's also the year I got to meet them. So very God damn, that that is not supposed to sound like that. So yeah, complications, complications. But yeah, I'll Twitch doesn't let you spam shoutouts, but I'll try to I'll try to keep a rolling a rolling tab going here. Yeah, what a show streams every Wednesday. What do you know? Oh yeah, Ryan. Ryan's shorts. Oh, thank you, Nick Cage. Energy source of the BFG 10,000. Yeah, people, feel free to share links to everyone's side projects. If you guys are interested to see, follow up on, uh, on what your favorite internet folks are doing, this is probably the best place to do it. Joe! Thank you much. Thank you very much for gifting five subs. I appreciate that. Yeah, the impatient tapping. That's a that's a kind of a Doom 2016 moment, where they can express something about Slayer's attitude. <laughs> Is Mr. Gar moving in with you guys, or does he got somewhere else we can find him? He streams too. Um, I'll shout that out. Uh, he does local stand up in Austin, so if you're in the Texas area, 
Um, he posts he posts his gigs and stuff on social. So if you can ever catch one of his live shows, you should do that. Oh, thank you, Admiral. I had some good times working on that, on Dude Soup, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's challenges. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, 40 demons, 3 arm cannon, weak points, Slayer King. Okay, that's not bad. The emergency exit portal should take you directly to the Mars surface facility. I bought his old special on Amazon. Oh yeah, jokes I wrote at work. Me too. It's good. It's it's solid. Good jokes. He actually goofs on some things that I saw kind of recycled later on TikTok. Um, he has a really good Street Fighter bit that I've seen show up from a couple of different comedians. I think, you know, not saying that, like, anything was plagiarized, but it was good, and he did it first. That's, that's where I'm, that's my stand. People have asked me for my comment on this Brian Gar situation. You can use the facility escape pods to get down to the Mars core, but we have no way of reaching it from here. Alright. Fuzzy Hat. What a great name. Thank you for the sub. No one's upset thinking about a fuzzy hat. Yeah, Kyle, you could stop that. <laughs> I'm asking you not to. Yes, hard netting is up for licensing. You pray for his return. I'm gonna be honest though. Slayer. I ask a lot of money. Of if you want to, you can uh one man can stop the armies of hell. Faded Malice. What the okay, hold on. Faded Malice just gifted 25 subs. Oh Faded Malice, do we have to have another conversation? I'll just reiterate it, Welcome for the sake of looking like a good guy. You uh, I I I don't need the I don't need the money. All right, I'm doing okay. I would say that, well, you guys can make whatever decisions you want, but just keep in mind that I'm fine. Other people maybe less so. You pray for his return. Are we at the five hundred dollar <laughs> spill the tea dono? Not yet. You think one man can stop the armies of hell? Not yet. Not yet. Getting there, though. To the, the wink wink, you know, totally not a real thing. I don't want to... F okay, I go up there, and that's where I get it. Okay. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Ryan's Twitch, he's rarely on, but worth a follow, at least. Sure. <laughs> Twitching with Ryan. What a good name. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. I don't mean to seem, um, I don't mean to seem ungrateful. Just, you know, complicated. Just complicated. We need the Lawrence the Troll Sakamoto body back. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Today was leg day. I did my, I did my deadlifts. I thought it, oh, there it is. Oh yeah, Lindsay. Man, Lindsay's great. Lindsay's someone else I also really wanted to get to know better, but our times overlapped very briefly. We never worked on the same teams at at Machinima, because she, she worked there too. She seems awesome. Bring sexy back. Don't worry about that. The world needs brick shit houses of human beings. I saw a Kako demon spawn. There you are. 
Oh man, I wasn't. Yeah, I don't know why I was sitting there. Wait. Oh, that's why. Yeah, Tomax. The announcement came out today. I I don't know if it's like I don't think I don't think things are shutting down immediately. Okay, so But yeah, they're they're closing things. Never know which way's the way forward, because I'm scared. Okay, that goes to an optional encounter. Comes back up. Sort of. Oh, thank you, Cheesy Pastry. Hmm. Wow, thank you very much. Hey, I'm glad my, uh... I'm glad my long and rambling YouTube VODs can help you get through your studies. That's kind of the way I figured they'd be used, you know. So I'm glad they're I'm glad they're they're working for people in that way. Damn it. Shit. Whew. Spicy. Warner Brothers seems to be contracting a lot these days. A lot of companies are. It's weird when when money flows, all the all the corporations kind of move with the same rhythm. And I think I think in the same way that layoffs beget layoffs, I think hiring waves beget hiring waves. If a bunch of other companies are snapping up employees, I think it kind of motivates your company to hire too. Because if they're getting all the good employees, you want to grab them before your competitors get them. Knowing that you can just lay them off later if you want to. Or you overhire and then you get to pick from the folks that you brought on after two years and see which ones you want to keep. Access to surface gun bridge granted. Ah, have a good night, Plizzy. That is a weapon, not a teleporter. Why two years? It was just it just came on came out of the top of my head. Gotta ask, do you think Funhouse will become independent or will it dissolve as well? I have no idea. I am I am not connected or involved with that channel at all. So I couldn't say. See Jessica in HR and sign up now for the UAC Mortally. Mm. Be generous. Give your blood. Give all of your blood. I uh, I understand. I understand like wanting answers. I'm kind of in the same boat, especially for the people that I care about. But uh, I I don't want to be the person to speak for others right now, especially since, like I said, I'm not a. I'm not, um, not directly affected at the moment. So I'm just trying to be careful about that. That's all. Is designed to use only approved UAC ammunition. Company just exited 10% of our workforce. We're completely profitable, making millions, and they're exiting 10% of our workforce. And because you could be more profitable. That's business. It sucks. Real sucks. Really, really sucks. The only thing, I mean, 
that's what Bruce and I are trying to do with Inside Games and, and what brought you this thing is scale organically. We could probably talk to investors or we could put in a, a lot of our own money and try to like, try to launch it right off the top, but we didn't want to be in this situation. So, it takes longer and no one give, no one gives a shit. You don't get to throw your weight around and be a big shot. I don't get to post pictures on Twitter of me doing a crouch peace sign in front of the new office that I just signed a lease for. Maybe someday. Master Butcher 616. Appreciate the sub. Give subs to Kasim. Kasim didn't work for Rooster Teeth. I guess Kasim works with Fiona, who worked with Rooster Teeth. I didn't think she was an employee anymore, but I'm not sure. But let's be honest. Is Kasim going to share that money? Of course not. I will, though. You know that's true. So once again, once that fund hits that cutoff, we'll get some, uh, we'll get some blood flowing in here. But until then... My mouse is blinking. Hold on. <sighs> Ghidorah, I'm glad people in chat are saying it because that way it can't get traced back to me. That was my dingle. I was plugging in my mouse. So, sorry if that sounded like something got unplugged from your PC. Uh, bite the asp. Thank you for the sub. Yeah. Charlotte's containment field has been deactivated, though. Which is, uh... It's not a bad thing, but it means... It means we all have to prepare. Maybe buy a poncho get like you know those buckets that have like three months of food in them couldn't be a bad idea to just have one of those yeah we all got a brace for charlotte impact put sandbags at your door <sighs> Oh, I do SEO as a day job thanks to your Google Trends and your game show. What? Beats? How did that how did that turn out? Also, Beats. I feel like doing SEO. How do you like that work? That feels like such such a interesting line of work to be in. The hell is Charlotte Impact? Somebody hasn't seen Evangelion. Oh, I messed it up. Oh yeah, Anthony. I assumed that would happen. This is a feeding frenzy for a lot of people with very bad intent. There's been a lot of those around for a while. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Damn. The go woke, go broke dudes must be having a pizza party right now. Party. Pizza party. Yeah, people are angry about the wrong things. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, another day on the internet, I guess. That's why I gotta be extra careful. People already don't like me uh, in that community, so it's gonna be very easy to, to come off as a villain. It'll be very e it'll be a very easy sell.
think one thing... Hmm. If, one, if I've learned one thing from Brewster Teeth, it's that you need to trust the hairs on the back of your neck when you think people don't like you, and that makes you an easy target for things. Oh no, sorry. I, I didn't mean to maybe maybe those comments were too too pointed. I was speaking generically. Mega generically. But yeah. Okay. It is it is comforting though thinking that somebody's going to have to sift through like 8 hours of Doom Eternal gameplay looking for spicy takes to put together. Oh, King Saren, I don't think it's I don't think it's weird at all. <laughs> but uh whatever. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Make them sit through Dune FMVs. What's the troll? Oh, I should play like Forspoken or something. What's the most SJW game there is? I feel like, uh... I feel like Sayonara Wild Hearts. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I think of like... Also, nobody uses that term anymore. But still, that's why it's fun to use. Forspoken? I mean, I, I could do Forspoken. I don't know. T hmm. Yeah, Last of Us 2. Shit, it's Last of Us 2, isn't it? Man, then everybody's suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Luca Chaves. Yeah, Life is Strange 2. There we go. That's that's a good one. Tell me why. Uh, Luca Chaves, thank you for the chair. Oh, no, 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 no. I tried to use my jump. Hold on. I, I, let me read your message in a... Let me read your message. Oh, thank you very much. You're my absolute favorite from Funhouse. Brought me joy in some very hard college years. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely grateful that I was able to bring happiness to folks. That was a very, obviously a very, very rewarding part of the job. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I heard about the Sony stuff. Reported on it on Inside Games. Wah! An independently owned gaming news channel. But yeah. I mean, something like that. It's so easy to look at that and be like, oh, CEOs are sociopaths, but what was he supposed to do? What happens if, what happens if he, uh, didn't go? And he was, sp like, supposed to be there. All the employees would have gotten wind of it. Could have leaked early. I don't know. Didn't know IG was fully indie. Inside Games. The legally distinct Inside Games is independently owned by Bruce and I. Inside Gaming, an entirely different thing, is owned by Warner. Just to be clear. Uh, J, K-L-M-N-O. Brought you this thing in Inside Games are the two YouTube channels I'm working on right now. And those are pretty, like, not, not, uh, not going for it at the moment, but I'm excited to invest more effort and scale things up on both of them. Uh. Stairs got me. No! The door shoved me up. Ah, that sucks. 
I needed to get more kills. Amazing. How are you guys looking at scaling brought you this thing? I mean, it's 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 kind of scaled around how well the videos do. Um, it's actually pretty easy as a content creator these days to put a dollar amount on your time, your production time. Uh, for, for like Bruce or I, it's essentially like whatever our take home is from the stream can be compared pretty directly to the amount of time we invest in a YouTube video. The rate of return is way less, which is why uh, most people just stream. But Bruce and I both still like YouTube production and like doing a, something a little bit more produced than this. All right, VIP or ban? The, the, the game with the highest stakes. Let's see how it goes. Con Rico, I'm pulling for you. Ow! Oh! What? This is an outrage. But I got that suit point, so. Yeah, Ripper Rooney, I gotta ban Conrico for an hour now. <sighs> Conrico has tried previously on October 2nd, 2023. Caught an hour ban, ban then too, and sadly will do so again. The good news is this isn't your first time in the clink. You probably have all the connections already. We got a real trading card redemption though. Banned. Conrico is banned. Mitch Six has redeemed a trading card. Let's draw a trading card. But now that I've taken a beat, and a gamer stretch no less, now that I've taken a beat, I have to use the restroom. So, uh, I'm going to do that, and then we'll draw, we'll come back and draw that card. So I'll be right back, see you soon, thank you for watching. Shaping your brows is a real ow. Tweezing, waxing, and threading, all that painful stuff, it's enough. Hi, I'm Laura Baker, here to show you the fast, easy, pain-free way to shape your brows without the owl. It's called Brow Perfect. Just look at this beautiful shape that was so easy to create. Simply hold Brow Perfect at a 45 degree angle to gently remove hair instantly and easily. Okay, ladies, I want to know what you think. This is a perfect solution. It's so easy. This is definitely the answer to my hair problems. What makes Brow Perfect so special is that it's not a razor, but a hair removal tool designed to remove unruly hairs and those fine light hairs you can't see pain-free. Brow Perfect is so safe and gentle, it won't even pop this balloon. Let Brow Perfect beautifully remove peach fuzz from the side of your face, around your chin and upper lip, leaving your skin silky smooth. You'll fall in love with Brow Perfect because it takes off hair in an instant. Even use Brow Perfect to clean up your man's neck, beard, and ears without fear. With Brow Perfect, hair grows back like before, not thicker, not anymore. Turn that ow into a wow with Brow Perfect. During this special TV introduction, we'll send you not one, but two Brow Perfect shaping tools and the perfect look shaping guide for just $10. Keep one in your purse or in the car for quick touch-ups wherever you are. But to make this the most perfect offer on TV, we're going to double everything free. Just pay separate processing and handling. As a special gift, we'll include this lighted, compact magnification mirror, great for using Brow Perfect on the go. You get four Brow Perfect shaping tools, two perfect look guides and magnification mirror an incredible value call or go online to buybrowperfect.com
Let's get back to it. What else did I need to do? Nothing. Just gotta find that Slayer key. I can do that. I could do that. People can't differentiate between scripts in real life. Yeah, I, gu I guess. Rude noise, what are you referring to? You got me curious. No, JC, don't give it to me. Mikoys, thanks for the sub. Oh, you already did. All right, well, thank you, JC. Oh, card pool, thank, thank you, Bearded Bar. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. Card pull. Right, 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 right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's, uh, hold on. Hold on. Volume mixer. Let's get back to Mario Brothers. We're playing Mario today. Who here likes Mario? Okay, let's draw a card from the card bag. Yeah, the other one's the card sack. Everyone's cashing in today. I've been doing some media tech streams lately, so I think uh, I think people are sitting on some points. Point inflation in the marketplace. Oh, we got another VIP or ban. Oh, damn. Okay. Gulp Chato, you have an amazing name. Here's your card. Oh, it's one of these. This art style unnerves me. I kind of it kind of makes me like anxious. It's just like 70s scribbly drawings. It looks like something that a kid who's in an abusive household might draw, you know? Anyway, search for Santa. He's right fucking there, man! That wasn't even hard. He's like right there! Anyway. Sorry to solve it for you so quickly, Midge6. Anyway, there's other things to look for, as you can see on the back. So. Oh, Santa at the sleigh. Is that a different Santa? I don't know about that. Anyway. You got a card for babies, but it's still worth a lot of money. It's still worth millions of dollars. Potentially millions. Potentially. All right, let me take take this down in my notes here. And if you, uh, just a moment, if you consult your whispers, there'll be a link to a form so that I can mail it to you. You know what the next Doom game is? No, hasn't been announced. Which is a bummer, because I want to know what it is. I want to know what id Software is working on. That's what hasn't been announced, and it's probably not Doom. At least I, I think they, yeah, they said for sure it's not Doom. So that's okay, I don't mind. At this point, I just want whatever like design process led them to make these two games, I want to see that applied to anything else. VIP or ban. Thank you, Digital Melancholy. That probably won't make it less lucky. How dare you? First of all, how dare you? Where do you get off? Got him. Where do you get off? Well, I guess here, because I'm, I'm about to have to ban you. Teton, you are a wonderful member of chat, a valued addition to this community, and in, in return for your wonderful comments, insightful chat messages, I'm going to ban you for an hour. Banned. Banned. Final message wiped from the, from the chat. Oh, Hugo Martin used to live stream Eternal over COVID. His last stream, he alluded to Quake. Additionally, in the Xbox Developer Direct, there's a machine game segment with a Quake 6 on it. Yeah. I saw the Quake 6 thing, which is weird because there's never been a Quake 5. <laughs> I think, so I think they were goofing a little bit. Uh, machine Games has been working on Quake. They did map packs for the Quake 1 and 2 re-releases. Re so it would be fun if, like, they were stretching their classic map-making muscles around Quake and knocked out some map packs. Oh, Quake Champions is 5. Oh! Okay, I like Quake Champions. I think I still have it installed. I could play some Quake. I could play Quake. Anyway, yeah, I want it to be Quake. They reference a slipgate in this game. Um, 
pretty directly. It's the only thing that's not called a teleporter. It's And uh they also like they kind of they kind of allude to I guess some of the some of the enemies are kind of like eldritch a little bit. Oh, we got another VIP or ban. CK is being very brave. Let's see what happens. Oh, you have to hop back. That's right. Why do I have to do this? <sighs> can't believe. I can't believe Chad is doing this to me on today of all days. <sighs> Carnage. Everybody's getting banned. Worth it, CK Sips. I'm glad you feel that way. We will remember you fondly, whoever you are. Look what you made me do. It's amazing that no one feels bad about it. And here I am. Yeah. This is worse than Zazlov. Another! Another! Wait. This is interesting. A trading card and then all. Wait. A trading card for Re Bearded Bard. A VIP of, or ban for Travel Edge. Okay. All right. All right. People don't want me to play Doom. That's fine. We got another card. We got another card. I'm going to reach in a different part of the bag. This one. Oh! Oh. Okay, this one. What do we got? The Hunger Games. Number 96. We all remember... What is that? It's like a pantheon in the middle of a lake. Probably the most memorable, valuable shot from the movie. Accordingly, it is the highest value card in the entire set, so congratulations. This is also just drawing out the drama of the VIP or ban looming, the axe looming over Travel Etch's neck right now. <laughs> uh, Mr. Blue Sky, thank you for the sub. Okay. Uh, let's try it. This is for you, Travel Etch. May luck be with you. But will it? But will it? The answer is yes, it will! Wow! Okay. Now I gotta do some more clicking. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm out of VIP slots, so Travel Etch has, perhaps without knowing it, just stabbed a knife directly into the back of another existing VIP. <sighs> a Caesar-level assassination of Shadow 787. Dang. Dang. Gone. No longer VIP. Stolen in the middle of the night by Travel Edge. Congratulations, Travel Edge. Enjoy your VIP. I'll sell mine for hot RT gossip. You don't have enough money. Nick Cage is redeemed by VIP or ban. We are moving the channel points today. I'm doing some business, baby! Oh! Oh! Couldn't just leave it on a, on a positive note, could we? We just had to push our luck, didn't we? Didn't we? Ah, oh, Nick Cage, I'm sorry. In some ways, you're the best of us. But not, not in most ways, because you're about to get banned for an hour. Oh, Kala did it. 
with a little extra with a little extra juge on the end too. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking care of that. Wanted to ban them myself. You did it. Added a little tax in there. Destinies, I, I don't know how to help you with that. I think you might be overthinking things. I think that might be my advice. Hmm? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Slater. Oh, Slater, I, you're asking which, which platform is better to watch streams on. I don't know that there is one. But there's uh, there's more gimmick stuff on Twitch. That's all the channel point stuff that I've been doing. That's where that is. YouTube doesn't really have a system like that. Yeah, Twitch chat is kind of it has a lot of functions that YouTube chat doesn't have, and kind of baffling that they're not even they don't even seem like they want to try to develop. I, it, I don't know, maybe I'm massively underestimating the, the engineering load required, but I don't know, just like pop-out menus to be able to moderate people, anything, timeouts would be nice. All you can do is hide user. That's it, that's all you got. And you can't like, you can't look at somebody and see what their comment or chat history is at all. I don't know. So it's, it's just like the tools are there to facilitate uh, community growth, like actual community growth. Whereas on YouTube, you're kind of, your hands are, your, your tools are limited. Let me see here. There's a way to jump up there. YouTube is for serious people. I'm not serious. How dare you say that serious thing about me not being serious. Oh. I'm taking that seriously. I thought you jumped up there and jumped over there. Hmm, okay. I mean, uh, my complaints notwithstanding, it, I'm very grateful that, that that particular restriction finally got lifted. The more people that can see a stream, the better. Unless it's TikTok and that sucks. Oh, here we go. I feel like YouTube is the only other platform where people do want to watch long form streams. It's just a bad fit otherwise. I feel like an old man on Twitch? Yeah? You don't understand any of it? Oh, right. That, yeah, that actually makes sense. Especially when you get to like add-ons and all this like there's a lot of buttons and widgets and, and notification blips and stuff. YouTube is is more streamlined. It's more of like a an interface and an experience you'd expect when you're watching a video. So, eh, that's a good point. TikTok is only good for clips to push to your main channels. That's the theory, except the push doesn't work. So it's good for clips that people watch and... Oh no! I wasn't supposed to drop down here. Oh, maybe, maybe I can get back up. Yeah, here we go. Um, maybe other people are way more effective at converting TikTok or like Instagram real views to other networks, but it just doesn't like. Everything on those platforms has, has like trained you to just flick up the second you become disinterested. It definitely doesn't incentivize you to like open a new app or tab out or type in a URL into a browser like that just doesn't that just doesn't happen. So people, my experience, which is not absolute, but it is that people that are watching short form content want to just keep watching short form content. Now the real doozy is that short form content doesn't monetize at all. So you're essentially fighting for a lot of eyeballs that then you also have to sell in front of. So it's a lot, it's a lot.
Okay, Slayer Gate. I gotta be good. I gotta be good now. I have to be good at video games. It's time to be good at games. The time is now. What are you? Oh, fuck! Oh, he already wooed at me! I want to get that dog. Where are you, dog? Ah! Shit! Ah! Aroo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit! A little early. A little early. At least the dog's already out, so he can't do it again. Uh, okay. Shit! Ass! He's, he's coming. He's too slow, though. God damn it. I think he got stuck behind somebody. One more ought to do it. No! What the hell was... Was that him? No, that was a stalker. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where is he? Where is he? Shit! Shit! <laughs> oh, the dog goes away when you kill him. Alright, that makes sense. Hey, he didn't give me any armor. What's that all about? Well, that was silly. I think we got it, though. I think it's cooling off. There we go. Ooh. Hmm. Enjoying a nice eye rub after that. Ah. I feel like... Oh, you still have yet to finish Ultra Nightmare, John Blade. It's not as bad as it seems if you have another save file on Nightmare and you just drill individual levels, because that's kind of how you can do it. So once once I swapped to doing that instead of just doing the whole run at a at a jump, uh it it fell pretty quickly. And you have a lot less to keep in your head. You can even like make notes. Basically, what I started doing is is like developing mnemonics. So when I'm going through a level and it's like, I know the next room is one that's bad, then you start rolling it back and you're like, okay, where do I need to pick up specific things so I go into that room with everything I need? That one in Cultist Base is like a real tangle. Uh, and then the, the fight in the last level 
is pretty bad too. Beyond that, um, it's not so bad. The boss fights, you obviously need a refresher on. Otherwise, they're, they're just going to get you because you're not familiar with the patterns. The DLC on Nightmare might be the hardest thing you've ever played. It was, dude. DLC 1 on Nightmare, the boss at the end, that, that arena with all the lasers. That is some shit. I, I wonder if I'm better. That's going to be the real test, that one encounter. If I'm if I'm fundamentally better at Doom now, then it won't eviscerate me like it did before. But we'll see. I'm charting a flight path to Mars. Calculating thrust vectors. Launching in three, two, one. Approaching planetary entry phase. Prepare for turbulence. Oh, they nerfed tag one? I didn't know that. It was pretty thick, honestly. It was a it was maybe a little bit too much of a step up. I was I was impressed that they pushed it that hard in tag one. The lost city of the bird. This was before your time with the Sentinels. The slip gate will take you to Sentinel Prime. Slip gates. That's exactly what they're called in Quake. Except they, they make a different sound when you teleport. It's kind of like a wee wee wee. Enjoying Rebirth? Yeah, very much. That is an astounding game. The amount of content and the, the precision of the execution of it is just so awesome to behold. Pretty blessed that, like, a game like that is also, it just happens to also be Final Fantasy VII, if that makes sense. So it's like the game, the game's content and format is really fun. And also it's themed like one of my favorite RPGs. And it's got the music and the characters and kind of loosely connected to the battle system. The battle system from 7 is not original 7, OG 7. Not the most special, but... Yeah, so yeah, pretty delighted all around. I'm wondering if, if it'll get to the point where it's like too much. I think... God of War Ragnarok is the only game I played so far that felt uh, like almost overproduced. There was too much stuff that it, it became very hard to value any of the stuff because it was leaking out of every pore. There was never a moment of, of like any downtime that was there was also extremely calculated. Yeah. It's funny because before Remake came out, the first Remake, I was like, God, I wonder if they're going to remember minigames. Because that was such an important part of 7. And I think uh, another another guy just dying on spawn. A, a pretty important part of its legacy, I think. It, I think that's one of the ways it really surprised and delighted a lot of people. In addition to its presentation aspects, its soundtrack, and, and even its story and characters. So yeah. Yet again, they understood the assignment. This time, maybe a little too well. So that's... I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see how I'm going to feel about it as I play through it. What's up, Geralt Derivia? No, he's right there. Oh, shit. No, I got caught. I got got. Got pinned against the wall. Surprised. Flummoxed, baffled. And just little things like that, honestly. Keeping a tally of what enemies spawn and what encounters. So if I knew there was going to be a... A doom... Doom Slayer? No. What are the... Demon Slayer? I can't remember what those idiots are called. Anyway. If, had I remembered, I would have stayed at the other end of the arena. Made sure I had freeze grenade and a blood punch ready. Because you can... Ex like, if you know that a... A particular wave of an encounter ends when you kill... Four stalkers or whatever. You can just leave the last one alive. Let your cooldowns roll over. Doom Hunter, that's the thing. Yes. Weird names.
so it actually, and, and if you only have to contain the preparatory steps for one level, you, it's pretty easy to break down because there's like maybe four or five, four or five major encounters in any given level. So it's really not that hard to just pick up with a couple of playthroughs of a given a uh, given level on Nightmare. So anyway, wanna eh, top tips from beyond the grave, I guess. How do I get my comment featured in a Biat video? You gotta, you gotta find Chelsea's hidden Venmo account and start slipping in some, some, some green. Slip it some of that juice, some of that squeeze, some of that bread. Kenny V Gardner, twelve months. That's an anniversary. I haven't played a Doom game since Doom 64. The newer ones are good. I think Doom 2016 is a, like, I think most people could just sit down and start playing that. Uh, Doom Eternal, kind of a different story. But I think 2016 is pretty pretty familiar with people who have played narrative first-person shooters. Do you feel like mini games are more beneficial in large-scale RPGs like Seven, or in more linear games like COD or Turret Sections? I think they have value in both. I think the longer a game goes on, the more uh, variety matters. Wait, I didn't check the map! I think I got everything. Ah! Okay. That was close. Yeah, Yakuza games are always awesome for that. It's, menus are so ridiculous. So many explosions and meters. Stacking up some sweet skins. It is kind of uh, gratifying. Leveling up all over again. Realize my phone's not over here. I think I left it in the restroom. Welcome home, Great Slayer. Honor the priest. Hmm. Missy Thumper, it is raining in LA. So yeah, there's a little dribble going on in the background. I can shut the door because it does sound like a shower running, you know? The delicate sprinkle of water on the roof doesn't really read, but the directed spout spattering on the ground outside does. So yeah, it just sounds like it sounds like someone's in the restroom taking a shower, which is kind of a strange energy. That's right, a full dribble. Do you like it? Okay, I like it too. I guess I can see why it's confusing. Speaking of confusing, I think I'm gonna grab my phone real quick. I'll be right back. Where the fuck did I put it? Got it. Wait, Jacob was here? We're good. All right. I just thought of something that I needed to do and now I've forgotten what that thing was. 
Ah, well. Oh, awesome, werewolf. You've been watching a bunch of video game movie adaptations? It's funny you brought that up, because uh, I had a bad movie night with a friend the other day. We, we watched Cade Tortured Crossing and Lycan Colony at the recommendation of chat, so that was nice. Um, but uh, we, were like, we were like, man, I just want to watch a bad video game movie. So, so I looked up a list of video game films, and it turns out we've pretty much seen them all. Must kill them all. There's like two of a ball of movies I haven't seen, and that's kind of it. In spite of his injuries, I need to get water. Let him be judged like the I could have gotten water when I got up. Like in Colony was shot in your hometown? That's sick! I actually really liked that movie. It had a fun energy, and there was a lot of it was this is gonna sound weird, but it was way more tasteful than I thought. A movie like that, shot in the mid 2000s, was gonna be. Uh, one second, I'll be right back. Sorry. We're good. We're all slurped up. Oh, did you hear Dragon's Dogma 2 runs like ass on PS5? Sub 30 FPS during fight scenes. Well, I mean, that's kind of how Dragon's Dogma went. Uh, that's not great, but this is kind of what happens at this point in the console life cycle. Games start running bad, open world games especially. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I get to, I get to not be upset about it because I'm on PC, so. I get to be smug. I've just, I've paid $45,000 for a top of the line CPU to annihilate all of the pixels. Yeah, this is the highest settings, the highest natural settings for this game. So, I imagine it'll run pretty well, yeah. $34,000 GPU. The power supply is worth more than its house. Every time I run Doom, all the lights in the neighborhood dim a little bit. That's how amazing PC is. Actually, it's funny talking about that specifically because I had to fucking uninstall, reinstall Doom. I honestly think Microsoft servers were just down. Theoretically, that could happen on an Xbox too, but... But yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of the... I've seen House of the Dead. I actually like House of the Dead because it's like, it's trying to be edgy aughts and failing, which is a whole new level of cringe. It's also just really boring. I haven't seen Max Payne. I haven't seen either of the Hitmans. How are there two Hitman movies? Uh, oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Alone in the Dark. My bad. I was getting him confused. Alone in the Dark is the edgy aughts one. I haven't, I have not seen House of the Dead. Believe it or not. I have seen Assassin's Creed. That, another phenomenally boring movie. Which is annoying because it had the record for the tallest high fall stunt in all films for a while <coughs> but they uh they butchered it thank god you're here what an undersell of an amazing stunt in uh assassin's creed j and j gaming thank you for the uh the incredibly generous donation thank you so much for what you do don't always agree with your takes yeah they're not always great are they uh but i'm glad you are speaking them 
Hopefully you can take an RT friend you care about to a nice lunch with this. Give him a hug for all of us. Yes, I would, uh, I will try my best <laughs> to make sure any, like I said, any money will funnel directly towards a relief fund. This is where I'm joking. But still, people are giving me money today, which doesn't feel right, so. I'll try my best. I'll try to buy a round for those affected if I'm in a situation to. Oh, a VIP or ban. Another one. People are... People are going mad. The fatalism is off the charts today. Lemmings boldly charging off of a cliff. I can't make them stop. I can't make them not do it. The only thing I can do is ban them one by one. Hail to the York. Thank you. Thank you for amassing. Actually, wait. Does somebody else want to? Does somebody else want to take this? Somebody? Does anyone in chat maybe wants to do that instead? Okay, no? Okay. <sighs> Sorry, hail to the York. Sorry about that. Sorry, buddy. We'll remember you. Yeah, Silent Hill 1 was alright. Silent Hill 1 kind of got the mood. Understood the assignment. I mean, Mortal Kombat's pretty legendary. It's funny, like, the action is not really that impressive these days. It's pretty standard, I guess, 90s action, but... Still got the mood, it's got the it's got the soundtrack. Mortal Kombat Annihilation is actually a fun watch. It is a <sighs> I think Mortal Kombat Annihilation might be the best. Mortal Kombat Annihilation's so sick. So sick. Remember when Sub Zero rides into the scene with his legs wrapped around an icicle thing and he's like leaning backwards? Man. That's pretty great. And it like plays the most intense industrial electronica ever. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta watch it now. Yeah, the mud fight is boring. You know what? It's, it, they're not muddy. It's not, a, it's not a mud fight. It's not muddy at all. They're just kind of like on dirty, wet ground. And they get like a little smudged. But they're not in like gooey, glurky mud. I swear to God, what happened is that like the director was like, okay, it's time to shoot the mud scene. And then just a, a PA went out and just put a fire, like a hose on some dirt for a while. And it was like, there you go. They should have, yeah, not sloppy enough. Thank you. Not sloppy enough. Is that the scene I'm, hold on. Oh yeah, this one's pretty good. Boo, he's down. <laughs> <laughs> In like the first two minutes or something. Hold on. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, is this the whole thing? I want to. Okay, we need to see his scene entrance. No, he's already in the scene. Go away. I want him to do the dumb shit. I think this happens before this. Man. That's so sick. People love computer graphics. So we got to go overboard. Damn it. Doesn't look like we're getting lucky here. Well, just believe me, it's awesome. All right. Just believe me, it looks so cool and we're all very proud of him. Yeah, it's like right before this. It's how he enters the scene. Well, We'll just have to imagine it. YouTube, let me down. Sub-Zero is sick though, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Mortal Kombat Annihilation fucking rules. Oh man. Oh man. It's everything the first movie was, theoretically, and more of it, but it's so stupid. It just doesn't know the jazz at all.
What is going on, man? I wonder if this is an older version of Doom Eternal where, like, there's more bugs and shit. I'm sure, King Egg. I said, and I quote, Mortal Kombat Annihilation fucking rules. End quote. I think it I think it lost a lot. They spent so much money on that movie. Like that was a that was a bet. And it failed bad. I think it's outright bad, like almost exhausting to watch. It does require endurance. Some movies require stamina. Make a fine Speed racer. You have to like, you have to like have developed muscle to make it through that movie. Must kill them all. You got a deadlift to appreciate Speed Racer. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> if Sentinel of Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you. Here's Sub Zero's entrance doesn't go quite as you remembered. Oh no! Oh no! There he goes! What do you mean? That's exactly what I'm talking about! His legs are wrapped around ice shit. He's leaning backwards and like firing ice at the same time. I guess like he was sitting side saddle at some point, like, and they were like, that's not cool enough. <laughs> he could just be sitting on it. He could be riding it like a slide, but instead he's hanging from the underside with his feet, shooting an ice beam with his hand. That's the coolest thing! <laughs> yeah! Look at that edit. Look at that edit. Continuity of shots, huh? Yeah! Boom! Bell! <laughs> There was like, there was like a half second in the middle of, of him like bleh, and turning and they were like, cut it too, too long. That's the other thing. And I remember this movie's kind of like edited for children, I think, because it's like hyperactive, which is part of why it's so exhausting. Imagine seeing a whole movie of this shit. We need that long truck shot. Yeah. Ugh. Look at this cool set they're on, though, huh? You must go. There will be others. They will be others. Who's all sovereignty here? <laughs> There's no other movie where an ice ninja slides down an ice rail with his feet interlocked behind him while he arches his back to fire an ice beam out of his hand at a cyber robot, all right? You can't tell me that's not cinema. Somebody tweet Martin Scorsese right now. Let him weigh in on this. I think the trick was, ow, you have to, you, you either shoot the shield or you don't shoot the shield. And I don't remember which one, which one it is. Okay. You shoot the shield. A little early. It's just fun. I haven't seen Ninja Turtles 3 in a long time, though. What? There's, there's some trash garbage I need to check in on. Maybe you don't shoot the shield. Maybe you don't! You shoot him! Ah, okay. We got it now. Yeah, not a lot of people know that Chris Nolan cited Mortal Kombat Annihilation as his inspiration to make cinema. 
Which is weird. You'd think more people would know that. You'd think more people would care about movies, but... They don't. Awesome. What happened? I think a, I think a zombie spawned right next to me. Yeah. Uh, Ruin Stad, I agree. It is a it is a shame all around today. I'm I'm playing doomed uh, to self soothe. Maybe process some feelings. Reacquaint myself with how I felt in the past. A lot of things. Health seems a little bugged. Is that just me? Yeah, golf thing. I I agree. It's it sounds it sounds like a bit of a platitude, but yeah, I, I just hope everyone can land on their feet. I'll do everything I can to support. Speaking of, I think it's time for another shout out. Whoa! I've been trying to link to all my ex Funhouse buddies' other projects. Oops. Yeah, the, the glory takedowns don't do a lot of damage. Probably be better just to... Well, I guess... I guess it's the only thing that does damage. All right, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Shadow would have showed it. Because I can do that. Yeah, maybe ultimate sane, but... That's not, like... That's only, that's dependent on interest and a whole bunch of other things, so who knows? Who knows? I don't want to, I don't want to speak for anyone else or assume anyone else's motivations or intentions, you know? Hold on, let me turn that shit off. There we go. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Mactacular. A lot of very talented people. A lot of special people. A lot of wonderful, kind, generous, beautiful people. Yeah, it. I thought you could do damage to this guy just by shooting him, but it seems like he just his life doesn't go down when I'm hitting him with normal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Weird.
Oh yeah, King Egg. I wouldn't. I would stay away from that. I would stay away from uh, discourse about that in general. It's just nothing good can come of it. Hope the best possible thing is just people bonding over good memories. And then yeah, I would. Uh, oh Jesus Christ! What the f? Weird. Probably best to keep any exploration to sp uh, spaces where only that kind of thing is happening. Okay, well, that's hurting him. I guess you can't... Okay, you must not be able to damage him while he's in... While he's in glory kill stun, and that's it. But if you can tag him otherwise, then it's fine. Yeah, okay, I think I get it. Okay, yeah, this this took way longer than it needed to. <laughs> oh, he can take damage during the jump rope thing. I always assume that he's invincible during that. I don't know why. Yeah, go Spartan. It's tempting to want to get involved or read what people have to say, but I feel like you can you can like draw it pretty quick. It's tempting to just scroll and scroll and scroll and see what people have to say, but man, I feel like after ten minutes, max five better. You get the idea. You got the temperature of the room. Oh, thank you, Loof Box. Keep your change. I love it. Uh, I am sorry to hear that you try to play along with our drunk gameplays, but I can't be uh, I can't be naive enough to think that that didn't happen. Uh, I apologize to your ah, ah! I missed something. I'm getting distracted. I apologize to your liver. How did I miss? Well, at least that'll be easy to get. Any, any weight to the rumor this is the woke mob's fault? No, we, we, it can't be. Or maybe because they didn't spend enough money? People weren't woke enough to sign up for RT first. Yeah, rain's coming down. It's It's so rare in LA, which is why I love it. That's why... I, Oh, it's just like behind the elevator. How dumb. Yeah. I'll tell you who did all this. Obama. need one-ups. I'm here for lore. Obama. I was using that clip to test some audio setups that I was trying to figure out the other day. I wanted to, like, make it so I could patch audio into the... whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I listened to Obama Soda on loop a lot. <sighs> Alright, we did it. That is. Also, why aren't my achievements popping? It's not acceptable. I'm not getting any bedinkles. No bedinks. The 
bedinkles turned off again. Hold on a minute. Maybe I gotta turn it on again. It's it's on, dog. It's freaking on, man. Ah! Give me my dinkle. I mean, my gamer score is going up regardless. Don't worry about that. I just turned my ding my ding dong. Yeah, it's it's raining here. It sure is. Someone can make the padink noise. It's not the same. But that would be nice. <laughs> Remember when I cared about gamer score? It was nice. It was a fun run. It's a it's a switch that I can flip now, which is good. I'm kind of I get to ride the lightning when I get it. But I don't miss them when they're gone. What do they want me to do? Power's off. What do they want? Oh, okay. She didn't know you had the demonic crucible. <laughs> In the end, the very power source you sought to eradicate from Earth is now what will help you save it. The mission on Sentinel Prime was a success. The demonic consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop a Titan. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible. Oh, you like the Tiki statue? Without it, the Titan cannot oh, be stopped. Oh, just realized that light's not on. I think all that stuff got unplugged. But the lights in the plant are still on. Hmm. This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the... Yeah, my RGB plant is now just plant. That's not gamer at all. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck... Yeah, Brandon, I agree. I liked, I liked Hayden a ton better when he truly was, like, a genius human that kind of tripped into a, a conflict well outside of his understanding. And I also really like the idea of him being kind of a tragic... tragic tech... fascist. But it actually kind of worked. Almost. Like, it barely worked. But it also doomed the human race. You know, whatever. So I don't know. It was so much better when he was a smug, self-assured CEO. And, like, there's so much commentary in him being like, this is fine, we can fix this. Even after, you know, demons are invading. I don't know. It, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun commentary and satire that gets lost when he's actually just the reincarnation of some fucking de demon guy from a million years ago. So, uh, blech, blech. It's kind of like when there's almost an interesting story in Star Wars and then it turns out everyone's a Skywalker and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, just a lore dump. Changes the changes the character. Changes the tone of the character quite a bit for 2016, too. Talking about Carmack? No, no, no. Just, uh... Samuel Hayden. The character. Lore stuff. Just lore tings. Can you say Sub-Zero like the announcer in MK? Sub-Zero. Hopefully that was close. Your crucible is still embedded in the Titan that attacked this. Oh, there's challenges. Well, look at all these question marks and shit. Cool. Six codexes, ice bomb to freeze ten demons. That's easy. Three different glory kills on pain elementals. Okay, that's challenging. Hmm. Your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the Slayer began. Yeah, his voice still rules, and he still serves the same role in the story. So it's like the texture's still there, even if the uh, greater context is a little bit different. And whatever. Yeah. I'm getting frothy looking at... 
Getting frothy looking at question marks. Oh. I love that sound. I've been playing this master level quite a bit. Blip, blip. How dare you? Shit. Oh. Kako. Kako threw me off. I do love its tiny little arms, though. It can't beat those arms. Little T-Rex arms. What the? I was on cooldown? There he was. Ah, oh, he tricked me! Shit! Out of ammo! He just did another one! Weird! Uh, there's no land over there! Fuck! Uh. <sighs> Damn. God! Ugh. Fell off that platform a little bit. Man. The great city of Taurus Site of the first recorded demon attack in Argentinur. Ugh. According to the Korax tablet, the city would have been lost had it not been for the arrival of the slayer. That's according to the Korax tablet. Yes, Baron Kurda, this is this is the hardest difficulty. Because we are gamers here. It doesn't mean we always play on hard, by the way. It just means we play with soul and spirit. We dare to dream. We make art with our, our gamer plays. Painting a tapestry of the human experience. While ripping off demon heads. Yeah, finger painting with demon blood. Fist painting? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, arch files are here now! Blip. Oh shit, shit! Okay, I see him, but too late. Dude! Oh, okay, all right, that worked. Shit! Damn, they can pin you in fast! Shit, shit! I gotta get out of here! Uh, okay.
No, thank you, Barrett. No hard feelings. Thank you. I didn't put it in the title or anything. So some confusion is warranted. Look at all these question marks. Huey. I'm out of everything. I don't want to I don't want to jump on a combat challenge when I don't have all my goodies. Maybe I can come back in a second when I find some way to get a chainsaw. It's raining here too? Nice. Almost drank a small spider this morning, but didn't, apparently, so that's another victory. Super, super shotgun's already done. Hmm. Hmm. Precision bolt I already have. Sticky bomb I can probably get. Lock on burst I can probably get. Oh yeah, my energy release. Mm -hmm. Going cold turkey on drinking soda? Hmm. Hopefully the caffeine won't uh, bottom you out. Oh man, gonna play some Hades? Yeah. That game always hits right. It gets it gets intense too. This is the regular campaign. I intend to roll through to the DLC, but we'll see how far I get. Okay. Well, I guess I can still Ah, who cares? Who cares? I don't need it. How about that? Actually I guess microwave beam might be nice. Oh here here we go. Cigarettes was easy compared to quitting soda? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever gone... I don't think I've ever tried to give up caffeine. Shit. Where'd he go? Didn't hit it. Fuck. Might still be able to- Nope! I'm out of rockets! Fuck! Ah, uh, yeah, I should've- uh, I guess there weren't people to chainsaw. Damn it. Yeah, I had to use too many resources. Mmm. Caffeine sucks for a short time, but I can go cold turkey and be cool in like two weeks. Feels like a pretty hefty adjustment. I don't know. I just like coffee too much. It's too delicious. I want to beat this thing, but I need ammo. I don't think it's... Maybe it spawns a tiny guy. Sometimes they do. No? It's just big boys, I can't really chainsaw. Need more ammo somewhere. I think there's a place where a small, smaller dude spawned in this room. Oh man. Your mom smoked for 40 years, but quick because they were too expensive? 
Yeah, I guess that's that's taxes working their magic, I guess. Yeah, they've gotten up there, man. What a habit. Hey, Vivnus Bach. Thank you very much for the sub. I agree, pain elementals are cute. I'm glad that we can say that now. I thought there was a button you have to hit to open that gate. Some random button somewhere. Or you have to go through part of the stage and progress a little bit and come back here. I remember something about this statue moving, but I think you have to hit something for that to happen. And maybe I don't have access to it yet. It's going pretty good. I mean, it's it's a weird day. A lot of a lot of mixed feelings. But I think it's going all right. get back out oh okay no you need to go you need to go through Hold on. Yeah, Kester, that's kind of the idea, to be honest. Kind of the idea. I'm slaying demons. Of a few different sorts. Oh, uh, oh, maybe I can't backtrack from here. Boy, I would like to, though. Maybe? Maybe I can? Yeah, I don't think you can. Oh, wait, you can. Never mind. Okay. Eh! And now I can kill this shit. Actually... God damn it! Oh, there's a guy down here. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh fuck, I wasted it. Maybe I got this. There we go. Okay. It was messy, but... Whew. <sighs> now I'm just gonna have jam on my screen for a while. Maybe I can find a health. I'm trying to remember how to get in there. There's a grabby wall in the back. Does anybody remember? You can tell me if somebody remembers specifically where this thing is. Amusingly, I know specifically, I, uh, I always forget where this is. And if you said this, so you'd be streaming Final Fantasy VII entirely. Oh, Rebirth? No. Nah, that doesn't seem to be the kind of game that people want to watch on Twitch, which I get. I don't want to, like, I think that's the game that people want to play on their own and not watch somebody else play. Performance wasn't. Oh, here we go. I was not on the right floor. I got it. My bad. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I, I agree. Like, it's one of those kinds of games. 
And it makes total sense to me. I think that's that's part of the nuance of Twitch is like certain games just there's some obvious factors stuff like Lethal Company is just like so perfect for a live streaming environment because it's so spontaneous but some other games are very obviously like a, a cozy up and playing yourself kind of game. Now Death Stranding on the other hand that's a that's a strand type game so it's obviously an integrated experience. Well, Alpha, thank you for uh, thank you for the vote of confidence, but the numbers disagree. It might do better on VOD. That way, like anybody who wants to can follow up after they've played it. But Lick Wad, are you are you advising me to lick a wad? What did that do? Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub. Drunk stream with Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge? Ah, uh, you want a drunk stream for Shadows of the Erd Tree. Whenever that comes out. You playing the Mario games? Has been our sleep playlist for the past month. Oh, those were fun. Yeah, maybe they'll add a hard mode in later. Yeah, replay maybe. Quickly. There are those who would seek to stop this. I offer you a gift. Take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. Oh, man. Yeah, Bruce and I gotta watch Riddick. Gotta crush some brewskis and watch Riddick with a homie. What could be better? You keep what you kill. Then entering the divine space Conan world. All from up here. Up from Vin Diesel's amazing brain. Amazing non-problematic brain. What about Babylon AD? Another amazing movie. Where Vin Diesel wears a puffy jacket the whole time. All you have to do to be happy is to watch Babylon AD every day. It's not that much time. You'd be shocked at how fast Babylon AD can go by once you've seen it a couple of hundred times. But you will find in yourself a level of calm and understanding about the universe you never thought possible. We're not so different, you and I. Any movie that has that line in it is a good movie. Any movie. Yeah. Yeah. For, uh, potential uh, honorable mention for must we play these games? That's a good one. Ow. I need to get glory kills on pain elementals, and I'm not sure how many more there are. There have to be at least two. They keep just dying, the cowards. Oh yeah, two rop. Babylon AD. Where his character's name in the future, future Babylon AD, is Two Rop. Two Rop. Two Rop. What's a cool name? What's a cool name for anything? Two Rop. I got a thing and I want to name it something cool. Name it Two Rop. Why not? That's a cool thing to say. Not Two Rock. No, that's cool. 
What's cooler? To rob puh with a P. Do I have? I do, okay. Bitch! It didn't freeze him. It also didn't, I don't think it applied the damage to the raft. It is so easy to kill these fuckers when that actually works. All right, we got it, we got it. Two rock. I never got used to it over the entire runtime of the movie, which is not very long, actually. It's pretty pretty short and stupid. Two rock. Two rock. Two rock. Two rock. They had to say that more than I'm saying it now over the course of the production of the film. And they never changed it. Two rock. Wait, what? I got pulled over by a state trooper for talking with a client on the phone? In a crisis? Sorry. I was, uh... Just catching up on the... On the dish. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. His name is actually Turop. Yes, it is. Hold on. Some people seem confused about the Turop issue. <laughs> Damn it. That's <laughs> I slapped a uh, bottle of Soylent across my desk. That's the downside of having a shorter keyboard, as now I can put bottles where they didn't used to go. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Back. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let's get some. Let's get some two rop. Babylon AD. His trademark cool. Tattoo. We love that tattoo. I have an image in a new tab here. We're gonna full screen this one. How do you how do you do F11? There it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's good stuff. Okay, let me get a towel. Yeah. Truth be told, that could have been a lot worse. Beer on my drink. Effing love Riddick. Hell yeah, you do. Cause Riddick is cool. Where's that? Where's that cool jacket he wears? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a hoodie. Cause everything was hoodies in the mid two thousands. Yeah, he's got a hoodie inside like a techno jacket. Look at that, so stupid. So many layers. Two rop. Two rop. Two rop. There he is. You know it's you know it's two rop because of that signature two rop body language. Signature. So cool. The way he looked out that window just then. I like to think that in some ways I'm like a miniature Vin Diesel. Like a Vinny Diesel, you know? I th I think that's yeah, I think that's about right. Wait, wait. Oh. Min Diesel. Yeah, there we go. Maybe like a younger brother. With an endearing lifelong connection. This is the thing where you have to hit the, the switches, right? Are they active yet? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, there's the other one. Okay. I guess I go up I'll go up here later. <sighs> I guess we'll see. Hello, Nabusan. I guess it's been a while. I'm doing pretty good. This is basically Wolfenstein with a different skin. Not really. Not really. They have some mechanical differences that, that change their playstyle a bit. But I guess from a from a high enough view it can Whoa, that's not good at all. That looks like an overheat. But everything else seems fine. Wow. But like, it's... It's only in that window. Huh. Well, what do you know? Hmm. 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 I wonder if... I wonder if there's any kind of checkpointing going on there. I did watch the Dark Fury animated Vin... Uh... Critic Universe short. Kosvac, I did indeed. I remember there was one cool part in it where there was like a big cloud in like a zero-g chamber. And Riddick, almost like Looney Tunes style, reached out of the cloud and like grabbed dudes and pulled them into it. And then the cloud turned red. And I was like, alright, that that was sick, I guess. And then I don't remember anything else about, about that. Ah. <sighs> Eric Splitten, are you about to imply that this might be my 20-year-old case's fault again? That has zero airflow? With a power supply and a CPU and a video card all in the same bay? Is that what you're about to imply? Because <laughs> that's absurd and I won't hear it. Honestly, the game has just been unstable today. The, uh, the version of Doom Eternal on Game Pass has been... has been sassy. I have seen Find Me Guilty, yes, starring Vin Diesel. I based my, uh, my character in, oh my god, I'm blanking on it. All games, all games. I think Elden Ring. <laughs> I, it's just all fine. It's Jack DiNorcio. I know that. Yeah. Fat Jack DiNorcio. Dan Petrol, yeah. The only role he's had hair in. Kind of. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. I try to I try to recreate Vin Diesel in many games, and I never get never really do it. Never get as close as I want to. Where's it gonna drop me? Okay, sick. Look at this. Look at this. It's all right here. It's all right here. Although I do need to use the restroom. Yeah, can you believe Bruce, cinema lover, hasn't seen Find Me Guilty? Uh, Logan asks what my feelings are on RT shutting down. I mean, very complicated. I didn't have a great time there, but I also met a lot of people that I really like and still want to succeed there, that are still there, so I want them to succeed. This is very clearly the opposite of, of succeeding. Um, so I'm not happy about that. Not happy about a lot of things, but I can't undo those and I can't fix them and complaining about them now just doesn't do anything. So, so what you going to do? <clears throat> I guess I'm going to use the restroom. So I'll do that now. Thank you everyone for watching. Appreciate y'all watching and hanging out. Um, playing Doom is nice. I'll be right back.
uh, the Wicked Witch Maybe. of Windows 95. Oh, I heard that, and you are? Uh, this is Jennifer Anderson. I'm Matthew Perry. We're here to see Mr. Bill Gates about a possible starring role in the video guide to Microsoft Windows 95. He's a dirty bird with a deadly exploding umbrella. And she? Well, she is perfectly evil. A destructo feline skilled in flips, kicks, and cartwheels. They must be stopped. Someone must cage the wild animals let loose upon the streets of Gotham City. In Batman Returns from Konami, only you as the caped crusader himself can end their wicked reign of terror. It's super NES action like you've never seen before, simulating all the adventure and intrigue of the hit blockbuster movie. Step into the silver screen as you fight for justice through seven cruel and unusual stages. Meet your arch enemies in intense 3D simulation as you command the high-speed Batmobile, and then chill out in Penguin's dreaded Arctic World hideout. Gameplay is designed to appeal to all age and experience levels. Batman Returns brings superhero stature and silver screen simulation to the Super NES, only from Konami. You're on a mission to get Nickelodeon magazine. It's packed with celebrity interviews and comics and puzzles and great stuff to collect. But only a real live grown-up can call to order it for you. Of course, you can think of a nice, polite way to ask. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. You never know who will pop in, what will pop out, and it's so good, you'll eat it all up. 
and you can get Nickelodeon magazine delivered to your door. Six issues for $9.97. Credit cards are accepted, and grown-ups know. It's filled with fun and interesting facts for growing minds. Unbelievable! So don't just stand there. Nickelodeon! There were lots of ways to show you really bought Nickelodeon magazine. How? Oh, you'll think of something. Nickelodeon magazine, please. Before we do any basic psychic healing exercise, it's always good to do preliminaries so that the person being healed and the person healing can release excessive energy. So let's put our hands on something inanimate. That's right. Or shake our hands out. Let go of all that tension. Stop playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Yeah. Was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later. Time will tell. Even if you spend a small portion of your youth checking out the ads in the back of your favorite comic books, supermarketing ads from comics is the place to be. Here you're likely to find memories of hard to resist temptations like sea monkeys or hypno coins. And in case you've forgotten the promise of Stretch Armstrong, squish him, scrunch him, stretch him out and tie him in a knot. Site creator Steve Connolly has collected some of the best, most memorable, most audacious, and most bizarre of those ads. Here, you stroll down memory lane while pursuing the complete text for dozens of golden oldies, like Charles Atlas, the insult that made a man out of Mac, the exciting ant farm, and Winchester's super speed roller skates. 
Lots of links to other Corky web pages, like the Chia Pet Zoo, make this a true blast from a definitely warped past. Cube. D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> NBA shootout 2004, you're in control. <laughs> 
accredited for everyone. Hello out there. I'm Mr. Sulu of Star Trek. When I'm out in space, I use the Starship Enterprise to get around. When I'm here in Milwaukee, I ride the bus to save time and money. Your $5 weekly pass is a great buy. Your bus tickets, the greatest. Take it from a man who knows. Your Milwaukee County transit system is really out of this world. Come ride with us on the bus. I think in the long run they save the customers the most money by just having lower prices, no gains, no gimmicks. Many shoppers feel the same way. That's why lucky supermarkets refuse to offer gimmicks like cash dividends and double coupon offers. Instead, lucky offers everyday low prices, so you benefit with a lower food total. I saved $11.41 by shopping at Lucky. Lucky doesn't have games or gimmicks, and that's the way I like it, because I get the lowest price. Very slowly, uh, the human mind will subconsciously adapt to this environment, and as it does, you don't notice um, the changes that are occurring while you're in here. You're not the same person in here. If we were actually in here, and all of the criteria that we have here, like there is no death, there's no injury, there's no physical pain, there's no hunger, there is with the operator, okay? But the, my avatar never gets hungry. He doesn't need to breathe air. Um, if all of these things were the reality and this was the so-called fantasy part that we live in, the physical part, we would have to completely abandon all of our ideas and, and come up with a whole new set of, uh, of coping mechanisms. This right here to me seems like the conceptualization of what heaven would be like. It causes us uh, to exist in two worlds at the same time. You have the real world, what we call the real world, and then you have this world. The more time you spend in here, the, the more the line gets blurred. The addiction, is, it's really, I mean, if you want, if you have an addictive personality and you want to uh, put it somewhere where it's uh, safe, <laughs> come on in here. You'll love it. <laughs> the slime boys, nice touch. <laughs> Okay, whose job was it to mow the lawn? A raft! Those programmers think of everything. One for me and one for me. Il faut vitamine C 
שלי? איפה הוויטמין C שלי? איפה הקיבי שלי? זה אבא בטלוויזיה עם הקיבי שלנו? In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a mother of two receives a visit from a rap musician. Soon she is swilling funky Cole Medina and living large with $5,000 in cash. In Winter Haven, Florida, a 22-year-old bank teller is struck by an offer to change her miserable life. Within weeks, she is whisked away to a whole new world of her choice, more than 15 miles away. In Richmond, Virginia, a bartender abruptly acquires the Batmobile, a vehicle with 25 thousand dollars under the hood and the same first two letters as his vocation these events that so-called scientists dismiss as mere evidence of the occult all share one striking characteristic the people involved are MTV contest winners my miserable life not any longer I want twenty-five thousand dollars the eerie inescapable truth people really win on MTV Take it from a slipper expert. Isotoner slippers are for moms and girls. With unique four-way stretch that even gives little feet the feeling of a hug. That's Isotoner Comfort. Isotoner Comfort slippers for moms and girls. Having the flu is a nightmare. Your throat's so sore. You're congested. You cough. Body aches all over. But now, there's Theraflu, the first and only hot medicine made just for flu symptoms. Theraflu, with a hot liquid like doctors recommend. Strong therapy for fever and cough. Strong therapy for aches and pains. Next time the flu strikes you, strike back with Theraflu. Tuesday's terrific for the family that plays together. Could anything be nerdier than this? On Who's the Boss, then... Face it, they were proud of me. I guess it was kind of by default. The Wonder Years, and it's like a first date. I believe in love at first sight. No, but I'm only 20. On Roseanne, then it's Coach. I'm Honey. Hi, Honey. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Join the all-star lineup. First on Who's the Boss and The Wonder Years. Then it's Roseanne and Coach. The Tuesday team is terrific. You know what I like best about tap dancing? It's not the way. And I can practice on the linoleum. After mom picks me up from tap lessons, I keep her company while she makes dinner. Tap dancing makes you very hungry, especially for burgers and Oreo tater tots. Life would be perfect if I could eat tater tots every day and the whole world was covered with linoleum. special holiday messages to choose from. Hallmark has just the right cards to capture what you want to say this Christmas. Hallmark has a way to make your holiday. No matter who you are. Hallmark has a way. Hello, folks. I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a had a phone call to take. Having epiphanies while on the toilet, on the turlet. Let's see here. Was the RT thing inside games worthy? Private Willy, not especially. It's it's a line that I would draw, but I guess it's a conversation I'll have with Bruce. I. I don't necessarily want Inside Games to start talking about media about games. Or gaming culture. Ideally, it's just about games and gaming companies. Because I think you start... It's a, it's a meaningless line to draw, honestly. Because, like, online, the only thing that matters is do people watch your content or not. So, if, if there's an opportunity to make a video people want to watch, we should honestly make it. But... My immediate reaction is to shy away from it. I don't think we have anything to say on the matter that... The only things we have to say are personal. 
And I don't know if Inside Games is the place for us to use our, our own... It crosses a weird line. We offer our opinions as specific opinions, but that's always secondary to the news. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking through it. I'm, I'm talking myself out of it. But also, um, I don't know. There's no award for having taste. I'd say that. I'm gonna buy Genlock for 15 bucks. That means you'll have some of the finest voice acting talent available on the internet. Uh, yes, yes, that was Abel from Genlock. Yep. Fan favorite character, Abel from Genlock season one and two. And if you think you're getting, uh, if you think you're getting a theatric performance like that for 15 bucks, you got another thing coming, mister. You know what's awesome? <laughs> Hold on, here's a fun, here's a fun little RT-able. Uh, I got, I got paid like 15 bucks for my voice acting for Genlock season one. I, they, they did season two. I came, they, like, I had lines, weirdly. Um, they had me come back to read them. And because I was not an employee, they had to pay me, like, contracting rates. And it was a guild production, so there was, like, a minimum. So they, I got paid like, well, more than $15. Here's the kicker. Because I was, I didn't like waive all my rights as an employee for somehow for season one. I got residuals for season two. How's that? Not being an employee of the company netted me orders of magnitude more money for participating in their projects than like, I mean, it, it's, it's so obvious to say it, but also, like, ugh. Ugh. Anyway. Fuck! That's the second time that's happened. In exactly the same way. What does it mean? What does it mean? Hello, Mikey D. Bastard. Is that like, like One Piece? <laughs> what do I do? How do I make my video game work? Um, I think I have a... I thought I had a, like a CPU utility, but I don't remember the name of it. Cupasoup.mp4 That's probably not... That's probably not bad. I think it's fine. What do you think I was watching while you were hearing that? I want to know what your ideas are, and then we'll watch it again, because it's safe. Uh, I think... No, it's safe. It's good. Soup. Mmm. You know what? That's a very reasonable thing to say. Incredibly reasonable. To expect soup. Uh, nothing else is, is going wrong, though, is the problem. My PC is still super responsive. Um, and none of the other windows are glitching out or anything, so I don't think it's overheating. I think it's I think it's Doom Eternal with a memory problem. Yeah. 
I probably can't get canceled for that. Nobody even knows who that is. Man, throwback, throwback shit. Uh, what am I? Oh, right, Doom. We're playing Doom. Oh, it's Randy Savage. Yeah, I, yes. There we go, Night Jams. Night Jams is a historian. I think you can delete these. I think you can just delete the, the videos and then it just skips them. <sighs> Koji Min, thanks for the sub. Rip Rooster Teeth. Without them, I wouldn't know your hard gaming greatness. Well, thank you. Now, a lot of good things happen because of Rooster Teeth. A lot of good things. I wonder if it's just this level. I don't know. So, hmm. I'm tempted to, 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 I'm tempted to claim that the version of Doom Eternal from Game Pass is older and buggier. This isn't the DL. This isn't a DLC Kai Whales. This is the um. This is the story. An interesting gambit, Phil Spencer. Oh boy. All right. Cup of soup. This game pass have a file integrity check. No, I think it just does that all the time. I'm pretty sure there's a process that just like is all. It's like a shrimp. It's just going around making sure everything's everything's clean. Its file sync runs in the background. I know. I know that. Yeah. Okay, I was, I was trying to farm out that glory kill. Oh, there's another one, great! Why, you nerd? Maybe you just can't be touching the ground. Because he was red. He was flashing red. Usually, that usually means you're in range. Ah, uh, what you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, shoot. I did that one before. I was hoping it... Oh, no! Oh. Wait. Oh, great. Now I got it. And it's raining again. Neat. Let's see here. Do up you and Bruce make a short acknowledgement video of the shutdown? Placate sentiment idiot or sentimental idiots like me. That's fair. I guess I guess we could stand to put some nice words up to bring people some nice feelings. It's it's a tough call. I don't know. Cuz uh, inevitably, no matter how noble your intentions, you're going to get people accusing you of trying to make money off it. It's going to be a, a hive for people to come and just like say things and try to stir up shit. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, there, there's value there, but it's not a. It's not a. I'm I'm overthinking it at this point. I'm just trying to be mindful, you know. And I think part of that is maybe overthinking things. So many stalkers, it sounds gross, man. It's so glorpy, they keep teleporting. Bleh!
Yeah, missed. I'm running low on ammo. At least it feels like it. There we go. Hey! Hi. Oh. That sucks. Oh, that sucks more. Whoa. I thought I heard the Oh. I thought the WOM was for the getting a glory punch. Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. Ow. They did patch the blood punch, uh... Well, they they modified it. As far as version, yeah, there's got there's probably a way. Hold on, well, there it is. I'm gonna guess maybe one of those in the upper right. I don't know. Go deeper, go dead. You're in. You're in. That reminds me. I'm in the middle of playing Metal Gear. Metal Gear 2 is so awesome. I can't get over how awesome it is. One of the bosses was just a dude who runs fast. Hey, Snake. I'm Running Man, and I run. Watch this. <laughs> oh, so sick. One grenade guy. I throw grenades! Oh fuck, grenades! <laughs> yeah, I, I'm planning on checking out Ghost Babel. That's another Metal Gear I've never played. Metal Gear 2 is already hitting these melodramatic beats though, which is just so wonderful. The bosses just talking shit for a little bit before they get absolutely wrecked because they're trying to use their dumbass power. I wish there was a- man, I wonder if there's a mod to change the, like, character art back to the original. Yeah, a lot of people have been glowing about the Tomb Raider remasters. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. I- Surely you go back here- yeah, you have to go back here, because the Crucible stuff's down there. Yeah. Oh, this room! This room's rough! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. No! 
Blip. Oh shit. Oh. I turned around and I just saw demon beef. Upset demon haunches. Are you? Oh. Holy cow. My fingers feel hot. What's new in this game? Like, compared to Doom? Hmm. Dash. Uh. More overheating? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, 2016 was not the most stable game. It, it ran really well. Um, uh, flamethrower? Grenades on cooldown? Well, no. 16 had grenades on cooldown. Ooh. What was your most disappointing game purchase? Like, ever? Uh, it, ugh, going all the way back, it must be either... I think it's Batman Forever for the Game Boy, probably. But in a way, it was what it needed to be. I had a copy of a Super Nintendo game called Super Ninja Boy that I did not like. Crap. Crap. Shit! Mm. I can't. Uh. Fuck! I didn't want to fall at the. Ah! It sucks. Okay. Uh. Ah! Got stuck against the wall. Dude, I need. Uh, I need ammo. All right. I did that all wrong. I used the BFG. It like, it eliminated the ammo and also did not kill the dude it needed to kill. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck you. I'm getting the buttons all wrong. Ugh. Man, I am sucking ass. Come here. Where is he? <sighs> Boy, I am I am botching this terribly. I think I can I have a yeah. I... Why isn't he dead? Ah! Dude! Fuck you. Ah. Ha uh. I need you to not get stuck! Fuck. Ah, there, shit. Blah.
Huh. Huh. He was sandbagging. What a turd. He even took a life off me. Unacceptable. Man, Marauders are usually not that frustrating. I was also botching my buttons a little bit. I was missing... I wasn't using my grenades. I was missing my weapon swaps. Distracted, I suppose. About the KOTOR bundle and they were incredibly frustrating. The oh, they're bad ports? The That's a bummer. How are they... How are they bad ports? That seems like it'd be a pretty straightforward port. Oh, did you get two lives? Oh... That's even worse. Oh. Watch Dogs 1? Oh, man. I still think it was it was largely true to its demos. It was down to how you played it, I guess. It was it was more video gamey. The E3 demo was pretty like dramatic in its pacing of things. But yeah, that that was a broken heart for a lot of people. Yes, Orphan Masher. It was grief. He didn't like Scorn? Man. I guess I guess it took forever to come out, but I had no preconception about what Scorn was going to be. I actually really liked it, but I, I think I was lucky not getting my hopes up for it. Red Panda, Rooster Teeth is finito. The word came down today. From Big Daddy Warner. Yeah, the guys run at you with intent. I think it's it's to make their movements really, really readable. You know, it's really easy to see if a marauder's running to one side or the other because their arms are pumping so silly. It's interesting because it, it's kind of the same thing in pro wrestling, how dudes run. They, they like do this a lot. Because it sells the motion, but I think I think mechanically in this game, you've got to know where they are and what direction they're going. Like really, really critical info. So the goofy like bicycle run, I think is, it's kind of nice. Oh, I need to backtrack a smidge. I'm finally seeing the Matrix. Do you think shows like RVB and Ruby will be sold off if? If there's a buyer, yeah. Or it, more likely, just as a as a property, it'll get transferred to another team inside of Warner to produce something that they already already own. It seems like that's the case, Red Panda, but uh, I don't I don't know any of that for sure. So I'm I'm not a source of information here. I, you know, I, I haven't worked for that company for four years. A little over four years now. They they certainly didn't uh, brief me on anything. I've heard some things from friends, but like I don't I don't know I don't want to be I don't want any hearsay. So. World of Argent and Nur has fallen. Divided, the demonic energy flows now to the south, and the society you once knew has been replaced by a corrupted world under Maker rule. We can't have that, can we? What will happen to baby boy Jacob? That's a, that's a prime concern. Uh, here. I'm gonna do a little shoutsies outsies here. I've been doing shoutouts. One thing I, I, well, maybe I shouldn't. If what a show goes live, I'm gonna raid their asses. I'm excited to do that. 
Jacob should become a voice actor. Good God, he's amazing. That much talent. As a, as a perfor a proportional voice actor. As a proportional voice actor. As someone who starred. Someone who starred and stay or screen mostly, but also theoretically the stage with such luminaires as Michael B. Jordan, David Tennant, May Day Maisie Williams. I think I have an eye for talent. And Jacob's got it. Uh, that's a bad thing to be in empowered. They already have a lot of health. I have rockets, though. All right. You know, that, that reminds me of this funny story that David Tennant told me. Uh, David leans over and he's, well, he didn't really, you know, we were never technically in the booth at the same time, but, uh, I, I remember thinking that if he were there, he would have leaned over and, and told, you know, said like a really funny story about Doctor Who or something like that. Doesn't that make me seem important? Ow. Hey. Ow! Man. Yes. We must protect our Jacobs. Swaddle him in the finest clothing. Bring your finest linens. We have a Jacob to swaddle. But yes, uh, it'd be a good time to show support to the fine folks at Rooster Teeth. There's a lot of tools to do that on the internet. Thought you had the Doomslayer Gold skin. I do. On the Steam version. I'm playing the Game Pass version. Because what's more gamer than playing a game twice? That's why you get to unlock everything again. And get achievements. What the? Oh, it was locked onto a dirt. Dude. Ah. Bad, bad, bad. Playing a game thrice? You are correct. Dang it! I got nothing! We have news, Harry. Yes. Do you want to guess good or bad this time? I'm going to believe. I still believe. I believe that it's good news this time. Give me that good news, Harry. Let me hear it. This is a day of good news. Good news all around. <laughs> Pikeo Net. Uh oh. There we go. Thank you for gifting five sub, ten subs. Jeez, PK. Thank you. I'm very grateful. But also, there's bound to be folks from uh, from Rooster Teeth getting online later. They can maybe use some support too. Just just seeding it. I'm not just seeding it. If you got some some pocket change kicking around and you're feeling nostalgic for the old days. Consider forwarding that to the folks who were more directly affected by today's events. There, all right. But thank you, thank you. Always appreciate it. I'm gonna get some beats this weekend. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. 
Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. We should do that. Yeah, see, so Brandon is offering to, to collect the money and deliver it to uh, all of the people affected. That's very noble, except I'm already doing that. So give me the best way you... Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to joke. A little too much, I think. Yes, please. In this time of need. My Rooster Teeth Tell All Fund needs your support. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Oh, I... Oh, I, I messed it up. Oh, there we go. That's right, Zacky Raps. You see, I'm making fun of people that are only showing up for the tea, you see. And I'm making fun of content that exploits those people. It's a layered satire. It's just a social experiment. I did it to create a conversation. And look at us. Are we not talking? I think I consider that a success. Come on, I gotta charge my crystal. Gotta charge my demon saber. Uh. Bought this weird battery on Amazon. It radiates with evil... evil waves. I hear screaming whenever I hold it. Damn, the twinklies are good. Okay, hold on. I was wearing the headphones to, f to fully appreciate the jams, but the rain is too good. I want to hear the dribblies. Yes, exactly, Lick. Dictating the discourse without engaging in it. Like a, dare I say, leader? You can hear it? That's awesome. Actually, I think I, that's why I took the noise gate off of my mic. Which I should probably put on if I ever want to, like, girt up on stream. Yeah, a hero. A CEO. It is raining, Crack Monkey. A rarity for LA. So I'm trying... Whoop. I like soaking it in when I can. Pun... Partially intended. I won't take full credit for that, but... Dad loves the noise rain. I do too. It's nice. Old man thing. I had a vision the other day, okay? Old man vision, if you will. I looked in the corner of my garage, which is how all old man visions... Uh, good old men visions start. I looked into the corner of my garage and I had an inspiration. Surely there's like a... I want a, like a sauna. Like maybe a two-person sauna. And then I go in that sauna in my garage. Maybe with the little slippies on. A little old man hair poking out. I'm shuffling. I probably have to use my cane. I sit in that sauna and I just bleh, I just melt for a little bit. And then, here's where it kicks up a notch. Right? Ice cold beer. Ladder on the roof. Folding chair. Watch the sunset. Is there nothing finer? And then I lift. You can rent a two-person sauna in a hut they delivered to your yard? I actually used one of those in Finland. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna slip off the roof. No matter how slippery I get from the sauna. Cause I'll have my little, my, my slippies on. It'll be fine. I only... F I learned, okay? I only did it at the one time. Ugh. Punched it, but I didn't get it. Wait 30 minutes after eating? What, to game? So that my calories aren't distracted by... 
digesting. The legendary advice of Kojima. Okay, so now I go back into the pit. I've got the stuff. I like that sound. There's a token I didn't get and a toy. But it's like right here, right? Oh, it's close to here. Got stuck. Hey, May Playin' Possum. Good to see you. Thanks for the sub. Hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday evening. Eh, I guess I can't complain. We would love to. We would all love to have finished saunas in America. What other Scandinavian delicacies delicacies would you like to see here in the U.S.? Oh, what a delightful question. Um, I don't. I wouldn't consider myself, uh, you know, well traveled in Scandinavian delicacies. Okay. Would immediately jump. First of all, I had a lot of amazing drink drinks. Had a lot of drinks. Had a lot of amazing drinks in um, in Finland. So, just the drinks all around. Um, quark pancakes. So, I guess it, it turns out that there's something called quark, and it's not from Star Trek. It's kind of like a, a yogurt or a kefir. Uh, and I guess if you mix that in with pancake batter, you get the, like, smoothest, firmest, most pleasantly fluffy pancakes ever. So, that's what I want. That. We're talking about subatomic particles? Maybe of maybe of flavor? Oh shit. Shit, where is it? I missed it! How did I botch that? Uh, well, when I get to hopefully I'll remember that I can come back. Oh, it's closer to cottage cheese. Okay. I uh, yeah, I, I haven't ever seen it by itself. I just saw quark pancakes in the breakfast buffet. And they were incredible. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good coffee. I'm gonna. I'm almost out of the coffee I brought back from Finland. Sub zero to hmm. Oh, okay. Saw a video of an American who lives in Germany. That's how he described it. For me, it's just quirk. I guess I, yeah, I'll do a little more reading. Because that's not really here. Did you go to the Burger King with a sauna? No. No? But speaking of fast food, this is what's messed up. Santa Claus's official McDonald's used to be in Finland, and it was really close to where we were. It used to be the northernmost McDonald's. But then it closed for whatever reason, so now, uh, now the most northern McDonald's is something in Russia, which sucks. Mm, it like closed like two weeks before we got there. Here we go again. I'm mad. I wanted to go to Santa's McDonald's. I did get to go to Santa's village, though. They asked me if I wanted to meet Mrs. Claus, and I was like, nah, it's cool. I was like buying coffee at Mrs. Claus's cafe or something. Oh, did that McDonald's close? I don't know, man. This is just what Stephanie was Googling when we passed a sign that said, like, Santa's official McDonald's. And it was a McDonald's with the Aurora behind it. Whatever. I still, I still believe. I don't care what chat says. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep saying that. Hello, Nicholas. Good morning from Misawa, Japan. Ooh. Good afternoon from Southern California. Japan.
Japan rules. Finally started watching Shogun. Ever been to McDonald's in Japan? Yeah. Yep, had to do that. Oh, I got I got Rezies to go to that McDonald's thing. So I'm excited for that. Oops, or rather I should say Stephanie got reservations. Because Stephanie is classy. Oh no! Uh, I went to the McDonald's that was at, uh, Disneyland Paris, which probably has the best food in the park. Actually, wait, no, there was an Earl of Sandwich outside that was probably the best. But they had, uh, they had hazelnut espresso. And you get it in this tiny little, like, McDonald's espresso cup. That was great. I liked that. Cute little espresso from McDonald's. I destroyed a toilet at Disneyland Paris. Man, yeah, I did some... I did a lot of bad things to Parisian toilets. I'll say that. Things I'm not proud of. I had some gastrointestinal distress. I whacked my mic. Oh, uh, may I humbly request pizza since it's been a minute? Mmm. Uh, that's all right. It's all right. Uh, I'm thinking about it, though. Let it... Let it... Let's let it marinate for a little bit. Pizza. It's marinating. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm feeling it. Hmm. Let's let it marinate a little bit longer. Let's let it stew. <laughs> There's a McDonald's in Italy with an ancient Roman road underneath and a real skeleton next to it. Eat your burger while contemplating your mortality. Yes. I did get to go to the catacombs in Paris. That was cool. Speaking of mortality. Um, yeah. More like, like contemplating age. The, just the, the, like, the sheer volume of experiences and feelings and complications you as an individual human can have. And that's just a burp in the the time span of the human race, which is also nothing in the time scale of the universe. Just, oh, just really feel the, the scope of, of reality crush you while you're halfway through a cheeseburger. Japan can be like that. There's just like a building that's like, this has been here since 200. And you're just like, oh. Oh. I did appreciate it, you know, it's a bit theatric, but some... I do I do feel like Shogun, in a way, does capture the energy of a civilization that has existed so long. It's almost beyond, like, it's like, as a human culture, they're kind of in a different phase. And it's not one that a lot of other world cultures can understand, because they just haven't been around that long. With, uh, with with a sense of continuity. Wait, hold on. This sounds awesome. I've gone to Hollywood Horror Nights, absolutely shit-faced, spent 15 minutes heaving my guts out in the bathroom. I plan on doing it again this October. Nice. Nice. Hopefully I'll see you there. <laughs> Stephanie really likes Halloween Horror Nights, so... No! Oh, I did not mean to use that. It's hard to get drunk in Universal, though, man. You gotta, like, really work at it and spend a lot of money. Oh, I forgot their challenges. Uh-oh. Oh, we did it. Never mind.
Where'd the shit? Where'd the archival? There you are. How did he do that? Very powerful, eh? Whoa. There we go. They parried my ass. Reminds me of that scene in Advent Children when, like, sword fighting and just keep bonking someone up in the air. I got juggled. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh, sorry for being that person that comes in from the news reports. No, it's okay. It's all right. Been away gaming hard recently. I'm curious if anyone knows what will happen to animated content. Hmm. There was some mention in the in the story about about some of those properties getting transferred into Warner and continuing to be produced, right? I think they must have mentioned Ruby and stuff. And then oh it's it's looking for buyers for the podcast portion of the company, the Roost. If uh I guess the fate of everything else is kind of unknown? Or rather, I don't know if there's any specific info about any of that. I guess best case scenario, it's still being discussed. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, something happened with Rooster Teeth. Or rather, the thing happened. Yeah, I mean, Hexed, it's not only it's not only their internal podcasts. They were they were doing a lot of ad sales for external podcasts. It was, it was a pretty tidy line of business from uh, from what I from just like the uh, the impression I got working there, and certainly the push that they made to just slam podcasts. I'll never forget when Ezra Cooperstein tried to pitch moving to Austin to me and part of his part of his sales pitch was you'll get to be on podcasts and I just I, I it took me a minute to process that and I was like it it was one of those moments where you 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 realize a few things all at the same time and it takes a minute to oh I forgot to go back to sort through them all. I forgot to go back. Damn it. I have to play that level again now. I did not forget secret. Or I did not remember secret, Harry. I'm sorry. You tried. You really tried. You tried your best. I appreciate that. Whatever. I'll do it some other time. Yeah, my gun. Even dog bark. Oh, Bruce is on? Bruce's... Bruce's ban is over. I bet, I bet Bruce is going to have all the juicy details, though. I bet, I bet Bruce is going to big time, big time dish. I betcha. I betcha. Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necroball for you. Yeah, he got, he got banned for some, some dumb bullshit over an emote. It's so silly and such an obvious misjudgment. Yeah, a twerking goose gif. That's all it is. And it's funny. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. That's what I think. The AI goosed the Bruce. Sad but true. Oh, 
I don't think it's funny that Bruce got banned. I want to be very clear about that. Sorry. No, I think the emote is funny. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I realized how that sounded just now. The twerking, the twerking goose e emote with the sensor bar on it is a funny ass emote. It's double funny because who would ever need to censor a cartoon goose? Nudity violation. That's so fucking stupid, man. Uh. Anyway. No. It's it's a boneheaded decision. Luckily the stakes are low, but still. All I can figure is it's some kind of like if I want to be my most generous, it's I, I can imagine some mod who was just given concrete instructions that all emotes of this type, no matter how cheeky, are not allowed. Because there was some, there's some like line blurring incident and they just decided to draw a hard line across the board. And this is just caught up in the, who knows, man. It's so silly. But, you know what? Uh... A little notoriety goes a long way. Maybe Bruce will come out ahead in the long run. <laughs> I feel like getting banned can, can only help your channel sometimes. Even if it has to cool off for a day. Now how do I... I can't remember how to get up there. I gotta get the suits too. And there's also the Unmaker. Yeah. You get a you get a good story out of it, ideally. Blech. Man, I can't remember how to get up there. Huh. Oh, also I'm just realized, Harry, I don't think I caught your your update. Oh! Oh, it is good news! Great! Oh, wow! Okay. Glad to hear about that. Any news as to what's going to happen with Funhouse? I, I don't have any. Uh, I am also completely uninformed. I don't work there. Don't know a thing. Uh... The, I guess the, the most optimistic thing to hope for that I would honestly, I mean, I'm a cynical guy. I wouldn't see this, I wouldn't expect this, but maybe. Oh, it's shiny, I can see myself in it. Maybe there's some rights transfer thing that could happen and people could just continue making a thing. That seems unlikely. Corporations in my experience are not in the habit of giving away anything, even if they don't want to pay to have it made anymore. It's not like they're about to hand it to somebody else, but who knows? Maybe they want to look good. Maybe they want to, maybe they want free PR. Who knows? Anyway, we can hope. We can hope and pray. And also just generally that uh, everybody lands on their feet. If not at a better place, that's kind of what I can hope for. I don't know, Saren. Maybe. I think, uh, I think... I think the costs of, of, like, paying eight people a full-time wage... ...might stack up, but it's not, it's not for me to say. All I can do is hope for the best. Okay, so there's a, there's a hole to drop down on. Yeah. Very weird mix of emotions, Enzo, that's for sure. Um, there's like a vent somewhere? There's some vents you gotta, you gotta squirrel up into and I don't remember where that path starts. I don't necessarily need the Unmaker, but it would be cool to get. 
Wait, that's not here though. I guess I can always get it later. You can always come back after. What will happen to the inside gaming name now? I don't know. It goes back in the vault. Back into cold storage. It's unmaking time. I still want the thing. I don't know how to get the thing. Ah, well. You know what? The thing will be there later. Oh, yeah, there's the other suits. I guess I can't I even afford them all, really. Don't remember the unmaker? You had to you have to do all the uh You have to do all of the Master challenges, super engagements, whatever they're called, purple boys. Attention, this is an emergency broadcast from the Ark Resistance. Numerous reports Switch in the window in the room. Oh. Oh yeah, you gotta shoot it. And it makes the sound. And you get a wobble, 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 wobble. That's right. There she is. Thank you. Thoughts on Dune Part 2? Haven't seen it. I think it looks cool. I think I'd like to see it. Business Otter, thanks for the sub. This is the factory where that takes place. Yeah, Surrealist. The Bokeh Blur? It was slathered all over Rebel Moon. Um, I, I get the look. I, I, I don't know. It does seem like it's a trend all of a sudden, doesn't it? We got here. Demons of Crucible, Crusher Traps, left side glory kill on a Doom Hunter. Is it their left side or my left side? Bob Iger confirmed a full Pandora land inspired by Avatar is coming to Disneyland. Disneyland in California? What are they chain? What are they ripping out? Did they say? Out. That rules. Because they have that animatronic ride in Florida, right? Avatar's so stupid. I love how stupid it is. I'm tired of tired of trying to be smart all the time. What's the point? their left while on the doom hunter's left if i'm on the so i would go facing them i go to the right and i do my glory kill oh the animal kingdom in florida okay that makes sense yeah ponytail sex exhibit you get to have sex under the great Awa tree or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. The only Doom Hunters are in the last room. Eh, this is all. I've already botched the 100% run multiple times over. So I'm just. I'm moving forward. I'm bravely moving forward. That's what we need right now. We need to move forward into heal. Yeah, when is Riddick World? When do we when do when do we get to escape the galaxy's most dangerous supermax? There should be a Riddick uh, maze at Hollywood Horror Nights, but it's really just like fifty dudes dressed up as Riddick prowling around. Just one big empty room with a lot of Riddicks just kind of like walking, <laughs> making grunting noises. You just walk through the middle. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, the allegations are, are troublesome, aren't they, with Vin? Mostly because it does stand to... It does stand to, sh to extend the amount of time we have to wait to see the next chapter of Riddick. Yeah, Vin, Vin has allegations, you know. I know what you're thinking. Why is it always exactly who you think it is? Sad. It is sad. It's very sad. How, uh, what box office would Fast X have to have gotten? for Vin to get away with it. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Rooster Teeth is kill, unfortunately. Why can't everyone anyone ever be alleged to do something cool? It happens. There's like Keanu Reeves buying a stunt team motorcycles. That's fucking cool. That's a cool al alleged thing to do. It happens. It's out there. Okay, so let's see here. Left side. So it this man's left side is his claw hand. This is the left side. I'm gonna do that. Left side. They also float, which can make their sides a little weird sometimes. And you know, uh, this is, it's alleged, it's been alleged on these streets that uh, I have a monster dong. A big ding dong. So, that's another nice thing. That it's just being. People are saying it. Not bad. The crosshair has to be on the arm. Okay, all right. Good tips. Good tips. Thank you. What people? Oh, you know, people. People who know. The buzz. People who buzz about things. Many people. Disneyland's unaffordable? It, I mean, it is, but somehow people are finding a way to go. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like there's, there's whole groups of folks that just have a lot of spending money. And they just spend it all? They, they're not complaining about stuff, I guess, because they're always going to Disneyland. Spending whatever Disney asks them to. Alright. 
Jacob is online. Yes. I'm wait I'm waiting for what a show to go online. Jacob beat them to the punch. Jacob is online. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna shout Jacob out again. They can't stop me. Actually they can pretty easily. And nope, they did. They stopped me. I have to wait 18 minutes before giving another shout out. They they did. They did it. Those ah, those sons of bitches. I'm gonna be honest. I wanted to. I want to raid and and figure out what to do with the evening. I was gonna go to a show, but with it raining, I kind of can't now. But I I. I want to read what a show because I said I would. What do I do? I'll figure it out. Go to what a show? It's not, uh, they're not online yet. Maybe it's time what a show learns a valuable lesson about, about harvesting sympathy when the harvest station is there to be harvested. Jacob's already on a level 7 hype train? Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on a minute. We're doing a covert operation. Yes. Covert operation accomplished. Hey. I'm sending on a little bit of that money. But giving Twitch a cut for some reason. Did Mega64 win the rivalry it had with RT? There was a rivalry? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, there. That's what that is. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Everyone at least go drop a follow on, on Sweet Jacob's stream. Sweet boy Jacob. Everyone should follow you on Twitch. I... That was a friendly rivalry? Yeah, I guess they won then. They never made a, a cinematic motion picture, but uh, they're they're still winning. Twisted luck. Thanks for the sub. The Sweet Gundam boy. Ba, ba, ba. I finished watching Zeta Gundam this morning. Finally, now I can watch. An even worse series. Chat lit up like it was Life Day and you were the orb. The Life Day orb? Ah. Yeah, Double Zeta, I think, is next. Yeah, Yondo. That's it. You watch Witch for Mercury yet? No, but it's it's amazing, right? Isn't it super good? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Iron Blooded Orphans, which I've heard are amazing. I watched Thunderbolt with Jacob. That was awesome. You think Double Zeta is good? Okay, all right. Jacob was not, was not glowing. Sweet 
Light Gundam, boy. Shit. Pizza. Nah, I haven't. I haven't seen IBO. I started it. I watched like the first episode. I had the best of intentions. Mmm, mmm. Who did that? Anime love. What a great Twitch name. Thank you for the sub. Punch this brain. Tyler, thank you for the remembership on YouTube. Broke my tooth during Dune on Sunday. Pulled most of it out that night. Blah! Just got out of surgery and I look like the live action chipmunks. Good times. Oh my God. Oh no. Well, um, um, I'm glad that most of your teeth were in there. Oh god, that hurt a lot. Yeah, was a... Did you like did you chip a tooth on like a popcorn kernel or something? Hmm, if you skip the first third of Double Zeta, you'll be fine. As a hardcore Gundam fan, I would say watch it all, but I mean realistically just do whatever. Yeah. I mean I it was kinda on in the background while I was working out, so it's not like I was paying the closest of attention to Zeta. Uh Kind of like this good melodramatic white noise. Smash. So I'm expecting I'm expecting something similar from Double Zeta. Is that on Crunchyroll? Because weirdly Zeta Gundam was only on Funimation? Or, wait, I think you had to sign into Funimation with your- no wait, reversed. You had to sign into Crunchyroll with your Funimation account and it would merge it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh. Sunrise just has their stuff on YouTube? Huh. That's surprising. No, I don't think I did check YouTube. That would be way easier, because the Funimation player is not good. I mean, it's not bad. Ah! Oh, use tweezers! Ah! Oh. oh, Starburst. One hard little bastard was in the rest of the soft ones? Oh. You had to rip all your toothy chunks out? Damn, that's nightmare. That is a nightmare. I am glad my teeth are in my face. Which series have you seen so far? Oh, just... Just the Netflix kind of recut of the original series and then Zeta, that's it. So I'm I'm a dumb baby. I'm not I'm not really Oh oh, oh. I forgot it was timed. Oh, uh, you chipped a front tooth on a fork? Oh. oh. I'm so grateful that my teeth have had my back. Yeah, I've had a lot of recurring nightmares about teeth breaking, coming out in pieces. Feeling tooth bits in your mouth? Oh. I don't think I can make it up there. That's really far away. That's really quite far. There we go. Do. 
Oh yeah, it's the crucible. The Netflix version cut the nudity in the last few episodes. I don't think so, but I also don't specifically remember there being nudity. It was kind of bizarrely paced even for, or bizarre, yeah, bizarrely paced even for a recut. It was interesting, too, because I could kind of see them stumbling upon, like, good plot elements as they went, but there obviously wasn't a whole lot of construction or intent behind it. They were just kind of meandering. And then Zeta kind of takes a lot of those ideas and approaches them with a lot more awareness and, and uh, confidence, I think. But from the sounds of it, well... From the way Jacob made it sound, it's like by Zeta Gundam, it's already like very much into being a, a mass produced show for kids. So there's like the tone shifts a little bit. Movie one is good. Is it just called Gundam? Gundam movie. One. Ow, what the hell? Oh, it's literally called Gundam Movie One. Okay, cool. Yeah, the movies are kind of nice. You ostensibly have a plot that you can get in and out of in a normal movie time, and by normal pacing standards, there'll be a couple of badass robot fights. The one in Thunderbolt, I think, where they're like in atmosphere and they're constantly like boosting up and then fighting in free fall and boosting up again, it was so sick. Damn, I kind of want to watch, kind of want to watch that again. Might have just been called Gundam 1. Ugh. All right, I have to take another quick restroom break. I'm feeling the tickle. I'll be back soon. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And uh, again, hopefully, hopefully what a show gets on so we can stage a nice little raid. Okay, I'll be right back. The next thing Snow White picks up is her new comb. Sliding the comb into the side of her hair, she is surprised to feel a sharp sting, as if the comb has scratched her. Little does she know, the comb has penetrated her scalp and poisoned her. sleepy. When she stands, she feels like she's floating, already entering her dreams, and suddenly she falls back onto her bed. Sensing something beside her head, Snow White wakes to see the comb twitching beside her. In a panic, she thinks that if she takes enough pills, she will defeat the unusual sensation she is feeling. I got great news for babies. I'm delivering a remarkable new diaper, new fitted Pampers with Stay Dry Gathers. Pampers are fitted? That's terrific. Now they help protect your baby from wetness right down to his toes. 
Pampers new Stay Dry Gathers mean a drier baby outside the diaper. And Fitted Pampers still has the cushion quilted lining? Yep, that helps keep baby dry inside the diaper. That's wetness protection right down to his toes. Yep, right down to his toes. Who can resist that? New Fitted Pampers with Stay Dry Gathers helps protect your baby against wetness right down to his toes. Yep, it's a great time to be a baby. Now at Dairy Queen, get two cheeseburgers for two bucks. It's a cheeseburger lover's deal. Or get two double cheeseburgers for three bucks. Again, that's two cheeseburgers for two bucks. Mm. Or two double cheeseburgers for three bucks. The cheeseburger lover's deal at Dairy Queen. It's delicious. Take it from me. So do one while it lasts. And teach you something different. Finish off with a chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard treat. back we're back with the gaming did you think the gaming was over you fool yes by all means uh head over to jacob's stream say hi drop him a follow Maybe drop him some some Be Bezos bucks, some bitteroonies, just a suggestion. Uh, I'm gonna as soon as, as soon as what a show go. If I don't know, maybe they maybe they won't. But it sounded like they were gonna go live earlier. Anyway, what a show goes live. We're raiding over there. Humans must be tortured. Oh yeah, this part. The humans got to be tortured or their soul energy's no good. That's why we throw them in the torture vats for a bit. Softens them up. Still think about how Bruce farts in his dog's face before bed because you want to be the dog I understand that imagine being tortured only to become a base zombie that's kind of what yeah that's kind of the setup the lore is like you have your soul extracted from you and then your body is dumped out into the plague lands or whatever and if like basically depending on how evil you are or it was like I can't remember exactly how it was phrased but it was like some people turn into like mega demons because I guess they just they're just built different everyone else just kind of roams around as a zombie but yeah they torture you extract your soul dump your husk out into the the demon lands and there you roam potentially evolving into some higher form of demon until you hear a muffled gent in the distance and you know your time's almost up again it's like being corrupted by chaos in 40k yeah yeah there's 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 some borderline warhammer stuff going on here you don't see a ton of it you don't spend a lot of time there but some of the other like factions with their realms and how long they've been around and sort of the grandiose aspects of some of it can feel kind of warhammery all but the strongest become gibbering wrecks. Oh yeah, the folks that have to like... The psychers. Oh, that's right, the spikies. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, you have to ride the cubes. Ride the cube. Oh, Deflex? Why rip RT? Because RT's ripped. It's over. The rooster dream is done. 
Warner is shutting it down. Hey, Undead Mesh. Thanks for the sub. Popping in to say hi, and I heard the news. Interesting for... Oh, interning for Funhouse was a huge highlight. Sad to see an era has ended. Yeah, that was... That was a... Yeah, those were good days. Those were good days. I'm glad you got to do that. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Excited for Space Marine 2? Hell yes, I am. I love Space Marine. I replayed it on stream a while ago. Is WB killing its content creation side a day after they announced killing their gaming side while also killing their movie side with Coyote vs. Acme? <laughs> we live in the Matrix. I guess. I mean, they're, they're cutting things. They're in a cut mood. They're slashing. Slashing. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Steven. Yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful to, to work on Brought You This Thing. It's, uh, it's scratched an itch for me, too. One that I didn't know that I had. It's a shame, like... I could feel it, I could really feel it this most recent episode. We only do, we only record one hour a week. And we spend the next week apart from each other. It's like we, we just start developing chemistry and bits and things. And then it's like, alright, see you next week. I think you only get three? Oh! Oh no! Oh, that's right, there's a whiplash. Oh, I think if I get that stagger, I get to sh- Oh, man! Yeah, the whiplash is so bad in this hallway. The edits are sick on butt. That's Chelsea. Chelsea is a phenomenal editor. Chelsea just gets it. We're very, very lucky to be able to work with her. A power of T. E. Thank you for the 24 months, AKA two anniversary. Semi toothless Tyler from YouTube chat. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Appreciate the, uh, it, man, what a world it would be if you could like migrate a membership or, or like enjoy the benefits of both without paying for both. That'd be cool. Anyway, thank you. Good luck with the teeth. <laughs> they grow back, right? Right? You got, a, you got some spares. Okay, I gotta do the left side kill. I don't think they spawn yet. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that's right. You can't go back. Oh, yeah, you can. Once the level's done. Man, that is such a pinball sound. Trying to get a well, I'm trying to buy time so that my uh oh no what man I got big time stuck. What? Uh, what happened? I got moved. That was strange. Mm. Hey. Well, that finally worked. Uh. Nope, 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 nope. Couldn't get around fast enough. Man, 
And it loves targeting the wrong thing. Missiles incoming. What's that all about? Uh, what the fuck? Okay. God, fuck. God damn it! He turned away from me. Ah! Asshole. Stop it! I'm just feeding lives now. Oh, it's almost Jonkler time. When does that launch? It's the expansion to everyone's favorite Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. It is almost Jonklin time, everybody. I thought for sure I'd done enough more kills. God damn it! Sorry. I, I could just put this away, but I'm for some reason fixated on getting this glory kill now. Can't wait to jonk. Are they gonna? Is he gonna have like cutscenes? This is important. I mean, I guess I'm gonna buy it anyway. Even if it's just like in-game dialogue, it'll still probably be pretty good. The in-game banners are pretty good. Hey, Rat Attack. Good to see you. Got it. Jonkler is free. All the DLC is. What? Then what was everybody so mad about? Oh, I just can't stand all these battle passes. I'm playing on Nightmare. Nightmare. Are you telling me that people were mad about something that's not even in the game? That would be weird if true. That doesn't sound like people. You know? Doesn't sound like the people I know. Anyway, I hope there are cutscenes, but there probably won't be. I would love a Jonkler scene. Dang it, I missed another. Yeah. They don't want to make triple A's anymore. I don't blame them. I feel like they're kind of where Konami was for a minute. It's just like, it's not worth the risk to try to make AAA games anymore. Service. Like the, it's almost like what I was describing before it. When you're, when your business reaches a certain size, there's a kind of business that just doesn't, you don't care about anymore. Cause it doesn't move the needles anymore. It's too small. I think AAA is like normal, traditional AAA ROI is not nearly what they expect. Whereas, in a service game, you don't expect them to succeed, but if they do, you are set. You can get- if you can get these dummies paying for the same shit over and over again. If you- like, not- I don't- I don't think anyone's practically thinking they're gonna make the next COD, but if you do, you can get away with murder, man! People- people still forgave Modern Warfare 3. You're like, once the multiplayer came, they're like, oh, it's COD. Just keep making COD. 
People keep buying it. If you can get them to buy a $60 game and then also spend more on skins, holy cow. What a delight. So I guess it has to be this one. I can't backtrack from there. I mean, I don't know about Forgiven. I guess we'll see when the next COD comes out. Um, but it sure does seem like people got over it. Or it's just like, there's a consumer base that's just not that discerning. It's like you gotta, you gotta buy your way into those rubes. The people who just buy everything, because it's called the thing it's called. Some brands are just like, some brands get to get to play by rules, others don't. There we go. Or they don't have to play by certain rules. <sighs> yeah, Chelsea R editor or D editor is a Hall of Famer though. What's your favorite game of all time? Like across all versions and, and in all ways, probably something like Tetris. Final Fantasy 14, maybe. But Final Fantasy 14 has been like a 10 year experience. There's something about it being what it is. And it's, it's like so unique that it, it can, comparisons are kind of pointless. Yeah, but I like those things. I like those things a lot. <clears throat> Hell yeah, look at all these beautiful unlocks I'm getting. A skin? Uh, an icon? I can customize... I can customize my online appearance. If they put Final Fan or Tetris into Final Fantasy XIV, it would basically be the perfect video game? I'm implying that, yes. Yeah, you can change your Doom guy. You just do that at the main menu. What we got here? Oh, blood punches. Back, glory kill on a tyrant. Left side on the arch vial. All right. Inside that citadel is the soul extraction chamber. We must make our way through into the top where the pure argent energy is exported. Directly to Pure. Give me that pure Argent energy. Like that pure energy. Uh. Big juicy eyeball plop. Yeah, the sound design is so good in this game. It's like kind of a suction to it, too. Ow. Oh, hmm. You go on to the other side later? Or do I need to do it now? Can I make it over? I don't think I can make it over there. Maybe I can make it over there. No. When do you go? You go over there. Maybe I do it later. I think I come back. Yeah, I don't know about that, Don Mess. 
we're not in the habit of reporting on on like media on inside games you know even though we happen to be closer to this particular thing but at the same time we have an opportunity to to say something and, and maybe make some people feel better i don't know it's it's a it's a tricky mess i was thinking about that earlier about trying to create anything more meaningful than a stream about it The juiciest reveals. The most shocking tell-alls. We've had enough. No more silence. The truth must be known. That's the thing, though. The truth doesn't have to be known. It only makes people... Like, the shitty thing is it only, like, makes everyone look bad. I don't think there's any good way to tattle and look, look virtuous at the same time. You have to, like, be the direct victim of something and s phrase it in the exact perfect way. And even then, there's no benefit to you, so it's, I don't know, it just sucks. That's life, though. Thumbnail holding ukuleles, yeah. I taught a dog to play a ukulele, and he's gonna play my apology song for me. Try and, be, try and be mad at me now, assholes. Was that so hard? I feel like you need a really clean setup, which can be difficult because they move around so much. talking with a friend about the Yuzu situation, he said it reminded him of how Kotaku would make articles and popularize fan-made games only to, for them to get DMC aid because of the attention they receive and then say it's not their fault and wash their hands of it. Well, it's kind of not. It's kind of not. I mean, what's better in that situation? That Kotaku does an article about it and puts some attention on it and they get a DMCA, but now people are looking at their work. Or... They continue to work for years and build up an even bigger project, but eventually gets DMCA'd because what are they going to do? Release it? Launch it? I don't know. I think I think it's better that that shit hits early than people get years into a project and then and then the doors slam down. There's no version of events where somebody gets to release their fan Star Wars game for money. There's barely even a version where they get to. Well, no, they get to do it for free, but like. There's no end game, Kotaku or not. 
Yeah. Uh, Don, Elliot is correct. You should download things you want to keep now. A lot of things have already been kind of rolled away, but it is what it is. Pack rats assemble, I guess. Do what do what no one did for machinima. There's got to be somebody out there. Look at all that stuff I haven't gone back to get yet. I think I needed to get it at the beginning of the level. <clears throat> I'll just keep playing. Killing time till what a show comes on anyway. This is raw argent energy. The suffering on earth, the bloodshed, all of it. For this. Once the soul is extracted, the husk of the human body will over time transform into the extracted soul of the remains will power their will. The essence of hell. Yeah! I was checking to see. I was looking for my water show. I gotta learn to turn around when those shields start popping up. Hit the bricks. That is. Ah. An urge for. Ow. <laughs> what? He twinkled. You heard it. There was a swing. That's a bull. There was a swing. We all heard the swing. Hugo Martin can't keep doing this. Can you crucible them when they're stunned? Oh, probably. Huh, I never thought about that. Try that. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? There's a thing. A thing. A thing, Zaya. Man, it's sprinkling. It is raining. What the heck? It's been so rainy here in LA. I'm extremely grateful. I love rain. I love rain. Oh, but was Bruce covering the details of his band? I guess in some way that I guess he's got a, he's got a nice distraction set up so people don't try and burn him up about Rooster Teeth related things. It's so dumb, man. I really didn't think Twitch had it in them to be. Like I'd heard people complain about Twitch moderation, but even the 
even the like stories I heard, I was like, well, I mean, I can kind of see from the other perspective, you know, a little bit. But this is just this is just a whole other level of silly. This is some deep like corporate AI BS, some kind of policy that like they had to put in place, it's being completely misapplied. Anyway, Joker, Joker, hey, we were just talking about you. The Jonkler is coming to Suicide Squad. I'm really excited for that, actually. Anyway, thank you for the sub. 97 months is an outrageous amount of time. Thank you. It's a lot of support there. I'm very grateful. Very, very thankful. On today... On today, more than maybe other days. Spicy mix of all galactic energies. The spice must flow. Yeah, he sounds so proud of himself. Like he he played a part in making it. Maybe he's just savoring how beautiful it is. Jethro J. Jericho. Thanks for the sub. I haven't seen I haven't seen Dune 2 yet. I am Duneless. No rebirth? Eh. I was just kind of talking about that before. Rebirth isn't a, doesn't seem like it's very popular on Twitch. People don't want to watch it. Which I get. Rebirth is definitely a game you'd rather play than watch. So, makes sense to me. I'm just going to chip away at it off stream. Mmm, there's a whole thing down there I missed. Mmm, the whole thing down there I missed. What's Rebirth? Oh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The second remake game. Shouldn't have gotten that. Weird. Whatever. Yeah, this... I don't know. This version of Doom Eternal is a little quirky. Wish they do a remake of Lawnmower Man. I don't know what that would look like. Somebody, like somebody does VR therapy and their cyber brain gets unlocked and... I guess... I think at best you, uh... You make like a campy borderline self-aware throwback thing that involves like a lot of 90s shitty graphics and animations and things. I refuse to stop talking about Lawnmower Man. Maybe one of these days we gotta watch Lawnmower Man 2 uh, the ultimate cut again beautiful and baffling piece of cinema. Then we can play the Lawnmower Man Super Nintendo game. I think there's a Lawnmower Man FMV game. I could be wrong. 
Oh, Marizard, yeah. Dude, I, I love Turbo Overkill. That game was a wonderful surprise. Now, that's a game I did stream because it's more watchable than Rebirth, kind of. You need... So... Oh, I missed, I'm missing shit all over the place. The magic sauce is it has to be a game people are kind of interested in, in seeing but don't have the time or necessarily the interest to play. People want to play Rebirth. I don't know that everybody necessarily wants to play through Turbo Overkill, even though it's a nice idea. Okay, this is the bad boy I have to... get a back glory kill on? Yeah. Damn it. You eh. There we go. Wait, no. I don't think that counted. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's another arch vial in the stage. I did kill the other one, I think. Think of, what do you think the new Tron will be about? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What a what a weird task that must be riding a new Tron. Did it not hit it? It didn't hit the sled. Now oh, whatever. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Jimmy Neutron. Hi, my name's Jimmy. I'm the Neutron. <laughs> my name's Jimmy. I'll be your Tron for tonight. I don't know. There's, there's like... The original Tron hits a bunch of really campy notes of like, it's like Cyber Jesus, but also you get to play video games. It sounds like a slam dunk of a movie, but then they had to go all heady and existential with Tron Legacy, so who knows? Maybe they'll try to go anime with it again. I think Tron movie's not going to be about on the grid and going to be about programs in the real world. That's the opposite of what it should be. That sucks, dude. Is that real? No, you can't do a Tron movie and have most of it in the real world. No. Don't. The only reason to watch that bullshit is because it looks cool. Tron 1 is fun. Damn it, I left the stage again. I got so distracted by that stupid thing. Whatever. That sucks. Guys.
It's not gonna look cool. There's just gonna be like somebody like beep booping around and there's gonna be a scene where they go to like, I don't know, watch a movie and then they'll be like, they'll knock over the popcorn and ah, that's my program. He doesn't understand, you see. What is this? A cinema film? <laughs> Doing the most like 1975 robot man. Jared Leto, fists on hips, like. Now don't you speak up during the movie. I don't understand. Are we not supposed to enjoy the film? Uh, pop it in corn. Oh. Where is it popping to? I can't wait. I can't wait. I had a minor crisis last night because I watched Hot Shots and I like, I like went, <laughs> like one time. We used to be able to laugh, you guys. A joke used to be somebody falling over something they didn't see. That was it. That's all it took. And we laughed. We had a good time. And now it doesn't work anymore. <sighs> it's got to be like a five-dimensional meta reference with 17 meme meme combinations. What happened to good old-fashioned fart in somebody's face, huh? Huh? Yeah. Comedy used to be real. Nothing's funny anymore. I worry about that. Like, I used to watch comedies and laugh at the jokes. And now it's like, it just feels like it's a bunch of people talking in a goofy voice. That's what old comedies feel like now. Maybe that was enough. I think the internet burned us out. Burned us out on our laughs. Maybe it's like... It, it exposed to so much more different kinds of comedy you could find the stuff that just zoned in on what you wanted as opposed to the catch-all things that are just like farts and funny voices squid tof i'm i'm okay i think i'm okay this isn't a cry for help is it is that what this is It's a laugh for help. Yeah, we laugh here. This is a positive stream with positivity. Make sure to be positive, you guys. Is somebody out there not being positive? Because that's not okay. I mean, it is okay. Wait. It's positively... All we need to do is sit down and have a little chit, a little talk, and we can solve any negativity. We can come to an understanding, a reconciliation, meeting of the minds. I just don't want people to succumb to negativity. It's not what the stream's about. And as I've, I've said before out loud multiple times, I can be trusted. I'm the one. Don't worry, you're done. You found your streamer. That's one less thing you can worry about. Yeah, I'm looking out for you. I'm just influencing, that's all. Just doing my thing. That's it. Big old platform? Oh, I guess I landed here and turned around like an idiot. Damn. I'm out of water, too. No? Yes. Alright, I gotta get water. I'll be right back. ...so-called stuff. And, of course, the power team. Now, here comes a review of the long-awaited sequel to Mega Man 2. 
Oh, what a surprise. It's called Mega Man 3. Here on Video Power Review. He is fast, he is powerful, and he is metal. And in this one, there's a whole army of whacked out enemies after Mega Man. So keep your eyes open because they're all tough. There's Top Man, he sends Mega Man spinning. Shadow Man, a real ninja nut job. Gemini Man, kind of like the Twin Towers of Trouble. And Snake Man, Needle Man, this man, that man. Oh, man. Hey, somebody, hey, somebody was feeling negative for a second there. Hey, oh, also, it seems like the time has come to pass. The, the, the shadow remains cast. Looks like what a show is online. Yep, yep, yep. Nick Cage, you got there in front of me. So let's raid on over. Make sure to show them your support. As it is written. Uh, yeah, some of the most wonderful folks are on Twitch right now, so I really encourage you to drop your follows, drop whatever uh, support you have to, to drop, whether it's a kind word or monetary, or just, just your eyeballs. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Certainly today, more than most days, I'm, I'm reflecting on the last four years, the four years before that. Uh, I got to meet a lot of people and have a lot of experiences, but I'm extremely, extremely grateful for where I am now. And that's entirely due to all of you. Uh, re re streaming is its not what I thought I'd be doing, but it's been incredible. And I, uh, I think I'll do it for as long as I'm alive to some extent, because I really, really like it. So yes, four more years, four more years. All right. Send you guys off to another stream. Uh, best wishes to what a show. And again, be generous with your support. That's my, that's my gamer command to all of you. All right. We had a rooster teeth. It, it really roostered its last teeth. All right. Oh, Pop-Tart. Hello. Hello and goodbye. I'm wrapping things up, but uh, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time. To the future. Dog. He's also a trampoline, submarine, and hovercraft. But this game's also a lot like the first two. The quick quackle, quackle, quackle. Nancy, fancy, fancy, Annie, fancy, fancy, Nancy's work. Yeah! Motor mouth. Frivolous phrases for friendly funsters from five to fifty. Ah, can I try that again?